Three, two, one. Put your thumb down. I'll be that ass. All right. Welcome to the Old School RuneScape Podcast. I am Mint Mad Cow. What is going on, boys? Rakes as always. Hey, it's Rice Cub again. And today we have Magal Kirby, one of the most innovative PVMers that we have seen in many generations, you know? I would rank him close to that of, you know, the good old looks, but this man has invented many insane methods for PVM. Save time and just skip damage altogether. And now he's been doing a lot of uh, world record runs. Recently he just did a sub one minute Grotesque Gardens, which is freaking insane. But uh, anyways, welcome Mr. Kirby. Um, hope you are doing good. And we're excited to have you on the podcast today. Hey, glad to be here. Mogo Kirby here. Um, my first time and hopefully it goes well. Yeah, well, yeah, we're, yeah, we're usually we, we usually there's, just swing it, but yeah. there's no good, there's no bad. It's good. Yeah. It's, it's a good we're time. Here. We, we, yeah. we only go for good times. <laughs> but yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself before uh, we get into uh, any any formal questions. You know, because a lot of people are probably interested to hear what you know one of the uh, most well known PVMers is up to lately. Uh sure. So you know, I'm Mogo Kirby. Um, well, the first thing I was kind of became known for was the Kirby skip. Um, you know, and then I've been kind of known after that for some of the guides I made for combat achievements, to help people give those speedrun tasks, and, um, you know, been doing some world record stuff recently, like the Grotesque Guardians, uh, you already heard about. Um, been doing a lot of, like, you know, Tombs of Mesket, made a few guides for there as well, to help people for, like, 500s and such, and, yeah, just been grinding TOA lately, and theory crafting potential, new things to do in the future, <laughs> which I've been up to. So, Maybe. you're a modern day Wooks, is what you're saying. Wooks Jr. <laughs> Wooks Jr. I watch I watch a lot of EQ, which is speedruns on Twitch, and they're not well. There's a RuneScape one, Tutorial Island, but it's mainly like Nintendo Mario. So when you say Kirby skip, I'm like, dude, is he playing like? Do we got a speedrunner up here from Nintendo or some shit? You know, sounds like you're beating a Nintendo game super fast. But I guess they just call that because of your name. Could you tell us what the Kirby skip is? Uh, oh. sure. So the Kirby skip is basically uh, in the rope room in chambers when you're doing a challenge mode raid. Um, normally you would take too much damage to be able to just cross the rope while leaving the NPCs alive. So you have to kill them. But with a Kirby skip, you can leave them all alive while crossing on like 1 HP. You know, you time your rapid heals, your HP regens on the cross. You have like redemption. You use purple sweets. You do all this fancy stuff. You just cross back and forth without dying and save like a minute or something. So it's a really cool skip. Yeah, I've had, yeah. To, I've had the opportunity to use this method it, it, it was like i was like bro i'm cheating <laughs> you know like yeah. i basically just nullify all damage you know like so wow, it was i've seen nuts. i've seen people do it and i but like i didn't realize i've never done it myself i didn't realize it was based upon the hp regen so how exactly does that work then like can you talk us like step by step <laughs> through real quick because i've seen it a million times i've just never actually tried it yeah, sure, I'll give a quick, so, essentially, you know, after you do Vespula, um, you'll be on, well, either 1 to 3 HP, because you basically eat purple sweets of an overload, so it's 1 to 3 HP you'll end up on. Uh, there's different things you do based on that, but um, anyways, right after you kill Vespula, as you start to run, you turn your your Rapid Heal on right at that moment, and, yeah. like, don't lose any ticks on the run over, and it kind of just like, works out perfectly. Like, I mean, you have, like, a few tick, it's like a 3 tick window or so, so it's not that precise, but... Um, yeah, and basically once you start to cross, uh, when you enter crossing the rope, like, via, via, you know, it's like an agility obstacle, it kind of stalls you. So, uh, when you, the NPCs are hitting you, basically you have 1 HP, so they're hitting a bunch of 1s. And then, near the end of a cross, your HP goes up to 2. So now, like, when you finish crossing, um, that's, you know, you're going to get hit by a 1. Your redemption will go off, kill you 24, so now you have, like, 27 HP. You know, all of the other 1s hit you, and you survive. And that's, like, the, that's the first part of a Kirby skip. And after that, you run over to pick up the crystal. And after you pick it up, you equip the Phoenix and eat a purple sweet while running back. So now you basically, as you start to cross back, you ticky the first barrage of attacks. As they attack, you know, they, they like attack you as you kind of like start to cross back. And because you ate purple sweet while doing it, you ticky those first ones, which allows the Phoenix to proc. And the Phoenix will null all damage and heal you 30 HP when it activates. Uh, this assumes you're below 20 HP when you cross, because obviously if you were above 20, you might take heat the first hit, but then you might get hit by like, you know, uh, like a 20, a 21, and then it kills you. So as long as you're below 20, you guarantee a peanut cross to that take heat, and then uh, that's how a risk works. That's crazy. That's, cool. that's, that's crazy. yeah. I, I okay, that, that, that makes yeah. more sense now. I've seen people do it, and I've always just been like, 
I'm sure it's like more simple than what it looks, but it sounds like the timing's everything. Yeah, yeah I I understood like about seventy percent of it, but like all I did was just watch a quick guide on how to set it up. Right, I just didn't think about like the nuance behind it. But it's it's like you know for you guys to have figured that out, like the the idea behind it and and execute it is is crazy because. Yeah, yeah. How, how do you figure something like that yeah. out? Um, I was like, so the original Kirby skip, which <laughs> was a little different, because uh, there's that old Kirby skip. The original Kirby skip used like a stall, but then at one point Jagex patched a bunch of stalls and broke the Kirby skip, and then a week later I made the Kirby skip 2.0, which is like the current Kirby skip. Um, uh, but basically the initial Kirby skip was kind of funny. I just I saw a clip of Pork Hazard where he he did a little special stall to cross across the rope. And then ate like lobster, trout, all these different kinds of foods to stay alive for like 10 seconds while picking up a crystal and then cross back. Now, I just got the idea to try to figure out could we turn into like an actual method that doesn't use like 10 pieces of food. And I spent like two hours of my chat just kind of theory crafting. And it was actually close to giving up near the end, but you know, someone in my chat gave me another scout with a rope first. And after just trying all these different things, I finally got a setup that worked. Because, like, you know, back then my understanding of all of these little things wasn't as good now. Like, you know, Stalls and HP regen and like uh, the Phoenix now, necklace. Now you're better than the devs. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like that fiasco with the the Fang. They're like, yeah, we patched it, guys. Like the first week, yeah. and then it it was still not intended. And then they're like, oh, guys, we haven't fixed it yet. It's been like two months. We're gonna patch it again. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah. like, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> you don't know how to make your own game. Like, <laughs> Yo, I'm I'm so dude. sad about that Fang. By the way, dude. Yeah. Uh, you know what it did to mm. Bulwarks in the wild. It made it strong oh, again. Yeah. Oh, bro, it was so good. So good. Yeah. Rest in peace, Fang. Yeah. Rip. That's crazy. So, but <clears throat> I was going to say, it's funny you mentioned that, uh, because uh, when, uh, when I made the Kirby Skip 2.0, it was actually kind of funny timing, because Mark Kane, it was like right after we did the patches, he messaged me to ask me about, because I think, you know, they, they wanted the, the rope skip to still kind of work. So he actually messaged me about it, and it was like the same night I came up with a Kirby Skip 2.0. <laughs> I was telling him like, "Oh, this is the new Skip I just came up with," so it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh, damn, I can't out. patch you. Dude. Wait, wait, who was it that messaged you? Did you say it was a mod? Uh, uh oh, yeah, Ar Arcane. Because it was like when they patched the, the oh, stalls, Arcane. which which broke the rope skip. Uh, he was asking me about like how the Kirby Skip worked or something, and it was the same night I came. You know, I tweeted how like I came up with a Kirby Skip 2.0. And then, like, he was like, oh, how's this new one work? We're all, like, we're making some changes. We want to make sure we're not breaking the new Kirby skip so there's something <clears> they, <throat> people can use for rope skipping. That's but, yeah, that's kind cool. of interesting. So, so oh, there's, there's recognition like there from the J-Mods that you've been coming up with these just, like, crazy out-of-the-box ways of saving time and stuff. I wonder how close that yeah. connection is, because there's speedrunning worlds now, right? Like, that's kind of a thing now. Um, <clears throat> do you see a lot of J-Mod interaction in the speedrunning community? Um, I mean, I thought like, you know, like just like in Twitch chats, or like in Twitter. I don't know. I haven't uh, like I, I've I've seen like a, just in general in PVM some uh, J mods, but for speedrunning specifically, you know, I I don't only get I don't really have too many interactions with the J mods. So mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to I wonder. Be with. I wonder where the whole bring speedrun questing to old school RuneScape even started from. Then I know there was a very select group of people that would do like tutorial island and they do like f2p the dragon slayer from scratch which is really cool um i'm just wondering like maybe the jmos got a got a whiff of that and we're like hey maybe we can integrate this into a reason for people to play runescape you know because there's like tight niche communities of speed running happening literally yeah. in every game <clears throat> my, my guess is offline my, my guess is that like you know obviously when you when you do updates right um and and you want to do it like a weekly basis, right? A lot of times you don't want to just release updates that change the the act, the physical game itself, right? So you need to find ways to like uh, keep people happy, but at the same time not like push the game too fast. To you know what I mean, right? Like yeah, every yeah. Week you can't have it's, power creep, right? Yeah. So I think that's yeah, what yeah. the quest be running. It kind of is, right? It's something that they can do pretty quickly and consistently. Right, every once in a while they bring out a new quest for you to speed run. But if you do it yeah, yeah. and how many hours you do it, it doesn't really affect the game in any way. Exactly. So it's like pretty it's chill, quite, you know. In some ways, it's a lot like the the fresh start world. Yeah, it's like leagues, right? You just it, it's you do it. it it's it. almost like well, it's probably going to require very little dev time to do, and it's like there may be some people that really enjoy this content. It's like, why not take that shot 
And I like that approach because they've seemed to be doing that a lot more recently. Oh, like, they, the they that... need it to be honest, man. Like, yeah, it's better than those it, quality of life. Nice. You know, better than quality of life stuff that they do. That like, think, you know what I think? You know what I think it is, man. I think it's ever since the PvP um whole pass, things have changed, man. You know what I mean? Win. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, it, it does almost feel like that. And obviously, we we haven't done a podcast in ages, so we haven't spoken about that, but. Rice cup. I'm sure you know this, but like that whole pass. Do you remember yeah. the podcast yeah, we did, did about did. all the the. I mean, uh, Mitten knows PvP this. Not yeah. You know, I, I know Mitten because knows this. <laughs> Mitten has like 50 crawls bows ready to go. Yeah. How much oh. have you gone up, by the way? You like stocked up on loads of PVP weapons, didn't you? How about how about this? I will give away all of my beats, all of my <laughs> bank accounts, and after plans. the update. Right. If this podcast hits 500 likes, we will have a wilderness oh. Oh. podcast following this. Yeah, or we, we, we haven't some other about the Spotify, right? Like we really need to like yeah, we need that Spotify your, running. I'm, I'm calling you out now. You're you're supposed to be responsible okay. for it. So you get to get to it. We get the Spotify <laughs> running. Start. But most importantly, <laughs> wilderness podcast covering the wilderness um uh, game jam updates, wilderness bosses, maybe even my own merch is going on. It's gonna be a good time. Let yeah, us know who yeah, you want us to bring gonna, on. He's gonna host a big ass podcast one. Hey, how many likes right was that meant? How many? Five hundred. Five hundred. First podcast back. I think we can do it. People been wanting this. We're here. We just been sweaty and yeah. playing. <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah. what they've been up to. We're probably gonna talk about that a bit more after uh, we delve more into some Kirby life, you know, events or something, you know, involving Rootscape, of course. But if yeah. we can go back to like speed running. As a whole, so yeah. it's like so in RuneScape. I don't know. Like, what I will say is obviously I don't have a problem whatsoever. I think it's a good thing that they release these speed running quest worlds and stuff. Um, but I think that the information that you can get from just looking at like how many people are partaking in that content, and like I'm looking on the list right now, and it's you know it, it's like the most that the most people in any of those worlds is five. And some yeah. of the worlds have one and zero people in. So it's kind of obvious that it's not exactly everybody's cup of tea, which is fine. Um, and it makes me think, obviously, Kirby yourself, you know, it's like you do, like recently you got a sub one minute grotesque guardian kill, which uh, I'd love to hear about in a second. Um, but do you think that there should be like maybe more avenues for recognition for speedy things in the game? Because I, I don't really know if it's celebrated as much as it could be, potentially. Like, it doesn't seem to be broadcasted across the game, or, like, as far as I'm aware, there's not somewhere you can go and have a look on, like, a scoreboard and see, like, agreed, fast agreed. times. Wait, there's not a high score for speedruns? <clears throat> no, there isn't. What no. the hell the fucking world's for speedrunning? Even, even the bossing high, a high score. Bro, even the bossing high score scuffed, right? Because you have bosses that, like, you can cheese with 10 people, but but then there's you know but if you solo it's more reward, rewarded right but in the in the high score value it's all the same right so there's people with like ten thousand xkc but like their drop value is only a third of someone that has like two thousand small teams you know so it's like the you know a lot of the yeah. high score stuff is completely right but, but it's crazy so, that there's yeah. people running like cooks assistant as fast as possible for the sport right now there's not even a high score they're just yeah, out there yeah. just they, demolishing they, it. I, I feel like the score. high scores for RuneScape could totally be it's Kirby. Uh, better. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what do you think about that, Kirby? Because obviously you've got like an itch for doing speed runs, and like, wh where did that come from? Because I feel like it is quite a niche thing, really, to like want to speed run stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I do think it'd be really cool if they add like a uh, a high scores, because I feel like you know, I feel like it actually would be a lot. Like, imagine if it was like a, like you know, top a thousand, top a hundred, like all these high scores for speed runs. I feel like people would be more interested in going into it. Um, and plus, you know, having like name recognition, like you're number one. Because I feel like a lot of the like, current high scores are just like you've spent this many hours grinding over and over and over. The speedruns are a bit more, you know, skill based. So I think it'd be, it'd be interesting to have like an actual high score. It's a bit more skill based of like this is the fastest time you got, and like actual more recognition than just like some you know you, random disco you have to go into to see like who has the fastest times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. True. And it's not that hard to make, right? Because all they have to do is just, you know, for like bosses that are groupable or whatever, they can just have have it list in different groups, right? You know, for different yeah, times. They, they yeah, they would have to do it like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not that hard, you know? It's not like... Yeah. It's not like there's... You know what I mean? For top, it's like you just have either one person up to five people, you know? 
like chambers oh, yeah. you could just do like uh one to like i don't know 10 and then like 10 15 or whatever yeah like they, they... I, I would be quite surprised if they <clears throat> wouldn't if they're not going to do something like that in the future i mean considering they just did it for speed uh quest running and what i will say about that is like i'm sure there's people out there that would be like oh why would they waste their time doing this now for bosses if speed running quest wasn't popular but what i'd say to that is questing and bossing are two very different things and i think like probably 90 percent of the player base see quests as just like a kind of annoyance and a means. yeah it's like a yeah. means to an end it's like well you just have to do it once and then you don't have to do it again right so it's like you know i'm not that surprised but i, I feel like if there was like i don't know like a, <clears throat> a scoreboard outside of every boss or something that was very easy to access and it was like oh the world's fastest kill for this is this time You'd be, it might give like you a like some people for me sick. i feel like it'd give yeah. me like an oomph it'd give me some like you know i'd be like oh shit that'd be really cool to see if i could even come close to that yeah line. you know i like to see you know? um they do a, a like a in-game broadcast for those kind of yes, things like, right? like in fresh levels and, that'd be really and cool. also um like on their social medias would be nice to have like you know achievements of the week you know like world record broken by yeah, this yeah. person like things that like that so that way like, that would be sick. It, it spreads, you know, it spreads that like you know, um, the the this whole like hype around it, right? Because like if you're not even, if you're not gonna talk about it much by the actual people that make it, then like what's the point, you know? Like in, no, not what's the point in terms of you doing it, but like what's the point in doing all this weekly, other than just to pay your Jagex members a, a, a weekly, you know, like weekly wage or whatever, right? Like like don't don't make them just do the content so that. You know, it's just a weekly, right? We're you're forced to do something weekly. Do it because like there's more more value to that, right? So like getting creating this concept of speed running and making it like a real bona fide like activity that people like look up to and do, right? So that's yeah. that, that. I feel like totally the marketing is uh, very lacking on that end for sure. Yeah. yeah, I I think it would be a decent idea, but like an observation that I've made quite recently is over like the last probably like three maybe yeah probably three years there have been multiple things hmm. that people have asked for like to give you an example right there was a period in time where um there was something that went wrong with a dead man mode finale you know which one that, yeah exactly <laughs> which like, one you know, that, <laughs> which that sounds familiar and i remember uh... i remember people people saying and like hearing this on twitter and wherever and it was like is it not possible for you to just like roll the server back or allow us to log in with all of our items so we can do it again and all of this. And at the time, the answer was like a resounding no. It was like, no, we don't have the technology to do that. It's like forward now to 2022, hmm. and it's like Fresh Start Worlds are now merging a separate server with the main game, keeping all stats, all progress, and everything in your bank account, right? So, Or in your bank. So it's kind of like... <clears throat> It's interesting to see how there have been issues in the past that they've been unable to like overcome. And now in the present, it's like there are actually solutions. And I feel like a lot of these things, including like the uh, broadcast into the world for like fastest grotesque guardian times, they literally have like a system in place now in Fresh Start Worlds where it's like if you're the first person to get an abyssal whip, it gets broadcast to the entire game. These features exist, but they're just not implemented yet. So it's like I, I feel like there's a whole world of possibility for like things like this to actually happen. Yeah, that's yeah, true. I hope so. Man. <clears throat> when yeah. when when Fresh Start started, by the way, Tom, I wasn't on for the first hour. Was there like first person to cut oak tree, or is it just big no. stuff? <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was like big stuff. I think you it's imagine so someone just running cool. around chopping and mining everything for the first time is just spamming. <laughs> oh. the I mean, yeah. Bro, the the thing is, like, it's it's very cool, but at the same time, I I, I haven't streamed very much of this content. A lot of it's been like YouTube exclusive. So I'm all, there's a part of me in the back of my mind where I'm like, man, if I get this really good drop, everybody's gonna. Know. Oh no! It's always like the video is spoiled in a sense. It's like the spoilers for it. But I think um I think they disabled it a few days in because they're just stopped being notifications for World First for ages. And people were obviously getting world first, like world first to I think like a level seventy skill was a thing, you know. I, I don't know if they just removed a bunch of them or, I I don't know. I mean, a lot of things went wrong with the uh, fresh start world, so it wouldn't surprise me if there was something that was up with that. Mm. I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel you. And, and talking about speed running, 
Um, Kirby, do you watch speedruns outside of RuneScape at all, or is it just RuneScape bossing? Uh, yeah, I do. Like, uh, I do watch some Super Mario 64 speedruns every once in a while. Those are fun to watch. Um, and when I like first started watching Twitch back in the day, like I was watching like Pokemon speedruns on there all the time. Oh, I love those. Oh yeah, <laughs> I love those dudes so much, bro. So yeah, that's part. I think that's part of why, like you know, resetting Grosses Guardians for like ninety hours kind of made me think of watching like the, the resetting Pokemon or Super Mario sixty four over and over and over. Oh my it's just god, kind of that mentality. <laughs> Do yeah. we get it? That, that's uh, the thing with like <clears throat> speed running. It's like I feel like for people to really care about it. They have to have an understanding of why it's such a significant thing, right? So, if you would, can you let us know the details on this grotesque guardian grind you did? Because, like you just said, it took you 90 hours. So, like, describe this adventure to a T so we can hear exactly the full process, the planning. Like, how? why did you even want to do this in the first place? Where did this come from? Well... So the Grosses Guardians record, I should say, first of all, the, the old record stood, I think, for like two or three years, held by Alex. Like, it was a time, but stood a long time. And with holy. the new gear... <laughs> wait, was that? No, no, I was like, holy, oh, that's yeah. two years. Hell, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but with all the new gear coming to the game from Tombs of Musket, I kind of felt like, you know, some of the long-standing records that seemed kind of unbeatable, I feel like, you know, now's the time to go for them. Like, why not? And so essentially, you know, I did some simulations to see, you know, how many hours would it take to get a sub one grotesque guardian kill because like not only did i want to get the record i was like okay no one's gonna sub one yet so not only do i want the record i want the first sub one in particular because i kind of went for just you know one tick faster like a one minute flat but i want the sub one really badly um so that was like where a lot of my motivation came from because you know once someone gets the first sub one that's it it's, it's been done um so it's like you know almost like a bit of a special accomplishment in that sense and what, what was the uh, previous world record by the way except for uh, alex it was one minute and 0.6 seconds, so a tick over a minute. Um, <laughs> Feels bad for that guy. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, I think Alex spent like 150 hours or something on that old record. But, See you, you know, bro. <laughs> never try it again, right? Uh, Sorry, Alex. And but, it is. <laughs> yeah. But that was before Frawls and Missouri and all that stuff, so that's crazi. And no ZCB, etc. But anyway, so... Yeah, I did the simulations. Um, the thing, it was kind of funny. I, I did the simulations, but like the method, and then like I go on stream, and then, like, I realized something about the boss I didn't realize, or, like, I realized I forgot to add something to the simulations, like, more details, and then, wait, like... Wait, wait, can we backtrack? Give us a background about this simulation thing. Like, where's yeah, well, that well, skill well, set well, coming from? Your job, right? You know, I'm trying to, you know, yeah, give, give viewers a bit more of that uh, IRL biography. What, what kind of simulation are we talking about? Wikipedia, here, you know? Skynet? <laughs> the only thing I can picture right now, do you know, do you know the uh, P... was it? P1 Vers... No, sorry, P2 Versic. Web, there's like a website you could go to, and you can just oh. like scuffly move your character. Nah, nah, this man did awesome. like he went he went like, like what are we computer rallying, create like a new like job, uh, Python script, plug in hella numbers, you know, like plug, that dude. kind of thing. Tell us more uh, about that, you know. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's just like a little bit of like a just in C plus plus. I just code up a little thing where it just you know it just uh, simulates you know doing the RNG of like you know the accuracy roll, defense rolls, max hits. Um, special attacks and how the special attacks like it just like simulates mm -hmm. all of it based on how everything works and then i just simulate the boss fight like a million times and see what the chances are of getting like the time but for something like grotesque guardians it's a bit more complicated because like um if you look at Zora, for instance Zora's is a very straightforward fight like the 27.6 Zora second record i set it's very like you know i do uh i do a sang hit into four tumikins and i do like you know Four knife specs, three blow pipes, T-bow. Like I, or, I always do the same thing every time. Um, Grotesque Guardians. I actually have to change up what I do a bunch. So in the simulation, I have to be like, okay, based on how many hits I did here and like what the boss did, and like uh, I have to. Ch it makes decisions on what to do next, and based on like that decision making, I see like how like I also use that to kind of figure out like uh, what's the best HP threshold. So like say pull out the ballista uh, versus keep blow piping. Like I just make all these decisions with the simulation. To find out what is the best decision making I should make in the real run, and then by just running that a million times, uh, we see what's best, and then um, yeah, we get like an estimate of how long it's going to take us to get this uh, sub one world record. And it changed a lot, cause like I said, I you know the simulation started as one thing, like okay, I guess I'll add this decision making. Okay, I guess I'll add this little detail here. Like I just add more and more precise little hmm. bits about the fight, and it was like. Even the smallest things makes a huge difference. Like you add one more for all hit, and your success rate can go up like a bunch. 
because it's just such an optimized run. And but yeah, also there's like just stuff I didn't even know about the boss. Like it, when Dawn goes into phase two, it actually cuts the damage in half of the last hit you do if you attack the very last tick. Um, so I didn't know that was a mechanic on Dawn, so that cut my success rate a lot once I found out it was doing that. Um, so just like little um, things like that. Yeah. I, I... I thought rice cup was bad with the spreadsheets. This is somehow. No, I, I, that's I've got, what I was I've got... telling you. I am not a spreadsheet PVMer. <laughs> I only. He's not a type, spreadsheet warrior. I only, I only is, input the drops want to and the date of when I got the drop on the spreadsheet. So, that's all I do. <laughs> I won't pretend I have any idea how any of that works with C++, but I have like a vague but, understanding but, but of what Kirby, the language right? you're speaking. Yeah, right? but Kirby. Yeah, but like, he, this is this is a from your work background, right? From your IRL background, right? Like you're it has applying to be. unless you learn C plus plus in your own yeah. time, in which case, like you're you just pick it up. This is like. this is uh, this is a category of Probably gamers not. I call the math gamers. You know, right? Kirby's a math, math gamer, gamer, right? So is that is so? Tell us about your kind of like your background, your IRL work background. I'm, I'm uh, sure. I mean, they, they go together, right? Yeah. So I went to university for computer science. So you know, I, I learned to code. Um, and then I decided to become a full-time RuneScape streamer, so that was my... Oh, that's how, hell yeah, dude. Uh, that was my progression. Wait, what um, was the time? Like was the... rockets at Mars and stuff. And here well, we what are. What was, like, the time RuneScape. frame? <laughs> what was the time frame? Was it, like, straight from college to streaming full-time? Um, or... I mean, there's, like, a, a bit of a gap, I guess, but... Uh, um, I don't know, just, uh... It just always interested me, I guess, like, uh, going into, like, streaming and, like, doing that sort of, like, uh, thing. So, and it's kind of interesting, kind of, well, like, at least my programming knowledge went to use somewhere. Yeah, of that. yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe you, you basically took over the world records with your coding, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh. we've advanced to that level. <laughs> I'm behind, so, I can't keep up with that. <laughs> to, go, to go back to having a vague understanding of what you're talking about with, like, C++ and how, how you so, could you, like, how exactly do you... I, Bear in mind, I know nothing about this, but how exactly do you go about taking a boss like the Grotesque Guardian and then somehow taking all of the data information about it and like moving it into like your own computer system or however this works? Like, how, how do you even do that? Because that sounds very much like on the edge of almost, I don't know, like it sounds like the kind of thing that only the game creator should be able to do, right? I'm a complete normie in this realm. I have no <laughs> idea. I won't pretend I do. Uh, so essentially, like, um, the formulas for, like, kind of how stuff is calculated in the game, like, because um, basically, you know, we have those DPS spreadsheets, right? So we know, like, how accuracy and defense is done, how it calculates max hits, how special attacks are done. Uh, people have kind of, like, over the years figured stuff out. Like, some of it's, like, from Twee Mod Ash. Mm -hmm. And so just by knowing how all these mechanics work, um, I pretty much just, uh, you know, in, in my code, I make, like, a little, like, class for a boss, where it has, like, you know, the HP, the defense, um, it calculates, like, the max defense role of the enemy with, like, you know, the formulas that we know, and then, you know, I do, my, like, my equipment I'm wearing, like, my stats, I calculate what my maximum attack role will be, mm -hmm. so then, with that, I can, like, roll my attack in the, against their defense to see if I hit, I can, you know, do the max hit, because, you know, I just, I use a DPS sheet just to check, check what my max okay. hits are with my gear. Um, I mean, I, there's like a formula for it, but it's easier to use the math, the spreadsheet, yeah. and then, um, and then based on which boss it is, it can be kind of, you know, like I said, it was easy for Zoro, but for this one, it, to simulate the boss fight and like some of the decision making, it takes a bit of just kind of like creativity and thinking, I guess, of like how to simulate it, like just the way I organize the code of like, okay, I'm gonna do like, how am I gonna like make it make the decisions? Um, like, am I looking at, like, how many hits I've done, or how much HP the boss has left, like, um, like, how many ticks I've spent so far in the fight, like, I take into account these factors to figure out how can I use the logic to make the right decisions of, like, you know, simulate, like, how I'd be fighting the boss, so, I mean, and, and it's definitely different for different bosses, like, when I did my guide for Gauntlet for speedrunning, I did basically a tick-by-tick -tick simulation of a fight against the Hunla, um, because that was just, like, you know, you have to simulate eating, tick-eating, redemption, like, all this stuff. So I kind of had, like, I had to do a really more in-depth, like, tick-by-tick -tick simulation to get that one. So that was definitely one of the more complicated ones I've done. Um, so just, it kind of varies based on the boss, like, how how far do I go? Like, some, like, like I said, Zoro is super simple. Just do these hits and do a couple of venge attempts and does it, does it kill it? But other boss is much more complicated with the decision-making. Okay. But yeah. So I, because here's the thing. I, I had this, I, 
like I said, I don't know anything about this. I thought maybe you were just like stealing the code from oh, like no. the boss to be able to figure that stuff out. But that that makes yeah, stealing. that makes sense. Dude, I, I have <laughs> a their mainframe. Yeah, just bro, I don't know. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an behavior. editor. I know how yeah. to drag things in the timelines. <laughs> I, I don't know how Coding you extract is crazy. code and Coding. like so. Yeah. I got, Thank I got, you. I got so many questions for you. This is so interesting. Well, can so... I? I want to pop one. Yeah, yeah. Give it to All me, right. bro. You, you sit All down, right. Rixie. Right, one is that up. moonshine that you're chugging right there, dude? <laughs> little... It's just some water. It's got the yeah. mason glass yeah. going water, on. Water, 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 some water, vodka. Water. Who knows? Mm. That's hey, it's okay. We, we, I'm fine with that. Also, <laughs> you must have some pretty fire clicks, dude. I mean, all this data, but still, <laughs> I mean, someone's got to do the he one has click everything. Kick, eating. He has everything. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Have you ever tried the wilderness? Um, I've done a bit <laughs> of LMS. Watch out, he's converting you. Be careful. Oh no! I want to see what your off. simulations could do in some fights. You know what I mean? Oh. If this man's out here kick eating and redemption, and you know, oh. what could you do in like a four-way switch and Arams? Bro, oh yeah. yo, Kirby, you gotta show him the sub one minute grotesque garden clip. Mint's gonna like blow a load <laughs> if you show it to him, dude. Like, <laughs> blow a load, oh, yo, I, yeah, dude. He. This this is what a math gamer can do, bro. You gotta show them that clip, dude. I've only blown Does one load of RuneScape before, but I'm down bro. for a second. No, you, you, when you, yo, when this... you say math gamer, what's a math game? Is that like, <laughs> He's talking about the like math game in fifth grade that you played on the computer. Yeah. No, you're talking about, like, no, seriously, though, get, 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 get us the I clip, man. I never played any please. educational games. Please yeah, get I'll... us the clip. I want, I want to watch you guys' reaction to it, because I, I was definitely pog champing the whole time. Like, the whole time, I'm down dude. to watch it. Dude, it's... Uh, dude, this shit, I linked it. It's crazy. It's it's like it's it's deep. Dude, I I gotta see this man PK. This is wild, bro. Yeah, just I watch it. Just watch it right now. Actually, maybe so, I can put it on. Yeah, put uh, it yeah. on. Put it on. It's, it well, don't matter if it looks good. Just pop. Yeah, it's it's not gonna look great. Bro, but, yeah, um, throw it up. Throw it up. Throw it up. Yeah. We're professional so, around these parts. I've got I've got a question for you, right? So they they've got the Grandmaster achievement diary in this game, where you have to do certain oops. bosses, like the Gauntlet, for example, in a certain time. So my question is. Considering that you're really good at figuring this stuff out, however One, you manage to two. do it, do you think <laughs> that Jagex will possibly come to you in the future uh, as being like you are the bar setter, uh, where it's like here is actually a good time to complete this boss in, for example? Ah, uh, I mean it's it will be interesting because I know like when they first released combat achievements, you have stuff like I think the forecast time <clears> was like forty six or forty four seconds. Like even the current current forecast task is pretty RNG, but the one they had before was like, a, it was such a long grinding at that time. So I think it, if it, it definitely would be, I think, a good idea of them to ask, like, unless we do our own simulations or something. But, uh, but you know, obviously, we probably don't know, like, all the most in depth speedrun strats. So I think it would be cool if they did. It would probably help with not getting these wildly over under times. Yeah, because um, it, it sounds like it could actually make it more interesting. And to give you an example hey, of that, like, are you guys the Zorus. That, yeah, just real quick, like the Zora speed yeah. kill, mm -hmm. like you just get that with just Tebow onlying the boss. Like eventually, yeah. you'll just get enough RNG where it's like, okay, I've done the hardest task. It's like it would have been nice if you actually had to like think outside of the box yeah. instead of just using a one bill item. All right, like, brute force, you know. Yo, you guys ready? For oh, this? is this shroud, bro? Dude, you guys ready for this shit? Like, I'm ready, bro. Yeah, it was crazy, dude. It's crazy. I'll oh, have the sound on and everything. Land. All right, here we go. Here we go, bro. Dude, we put the we put the blame on Ross's ult. It wasn't me. Dude, your eyes can't catch up, bro. I'm just saying, your eyes won't catch up. I was reset there. <laughs> Funny enough. It's a lot of items. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know half those spells. What happened to that guy? Look at that venge. That one already. Mystery venge, bro. <laughs> Spell book swap. Put the light bearer on. No, I was gonna ask. You Ballista. <laughs> Blowpipe. Balls. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm all, I'm, the whole time I'm counting. Watch this. Dragon eyes. Out of nowhere. Into a blowpipe. Into a blister. Into a hammer. What the hell? Oh, no. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck? This man will be PKing and dropping like random <laughs> shit on you halfway through the fight and then summoning thralls. Yo, look at this awesome. ring switch. I'm trying to keep up, but I, I'm having a hard time. Look at this. Venge, oh, smack under, Chally, oh, oh A suffering back into a berserker from a Chally. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. No way! That's such a good time! 
Bro, I, you can tell That's that you've taken like time. every every single. Oh my god, we be by like you even put a light bearer. Light yeah. You put a light bearer ring on because you knew it'd regen enough spec in time for you to get mm -hmm. a second chally off. Like what? <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy, dude. That, yeah. You're telling me that your C++ programming told you all of that? I don't know anything about this. Yeah. Like, like how? I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's funny, like, initially, <clears throat> like I said, my method changed a lot. Initially, I have a light bearer on at a different time, and I realized I could do it. I could actually have a light bearer on later <clears throat> on in the fight instead of at the start, and then I did a simulation, so like, I was like, wow, this actually worked out to a much better success rate, so... It's funny how little stuff like that changed over... Hey, if life attempts. doesn't if life doesn't go your way, just run a simulation, bro. You know? Yeah, that's all you got. <laughs> Maybe we are simulation round. Maybe but what do you think? Are. What do you think, though? What, what do you think of those clicks? You know, you, <laughs> Practice, you know, man. Repetition. It made me think, bro, that humans are slowly turning into cyborgs, and we're not even fighting it. That's what I'm thinking, bro. Yeah. Like that was crazy, and it all comes from, like you said, math and uh, some insane clicks, dude. <laughs> and that's just peak content, bro. Simulations and speed running. That's what everyone wants to watch. I call Isn't those it crazy. The math clicks. How speed running, yeah. bro, has yeah. seeped into every game from like since 2014 because it was on like AGQ in their little room of like seven people raising money for charity. And now even you could call Fresh Start speed running because we only want to watch the best people play the fastest, right? That's speed running in a way to success or money mm -hmm. or wealth or whatever the fuck Solo Mission does, dude. I swear, speed running has creeped into every possible facet of gaming. Including this man right here, who just fucked that grotesque card. You know? That was crazy, dude. Yeah, that's yeah that crazy. was very that was very impressive. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, so I take it you you did say that you learned C plus uh, plus when you were at uni. Was that right? Yeah, mm, probably more stuff than that, right? <laughs> yeah. <more. laughs> but yeah, yeah. But the reason the reason I ask is just because my knowledge is very limited. But I know that. Jagex were talking about moving to a C++ client at some point. Is that... I think that's yeah. correct. Right? Yeah, I think I've heard about that C++? as well. But do, do you code in C++, or am I just an absolute goon? Am I making yeah. any sense? No, it's in P Python, bro. He codes in Python, right? <laughs> I don't fucking know either. <laughs> I don't, I don't so know smart. anything about this. I won't pretend so, I do. Dude. Let him speak so, about it. <laughs> so here, here's the thing. So part of the reason why... I, if I remember correctly, they were talking about moving the clients to C++ was because it would make it really distinctive if there was a bot that was running that wasn't using it, and that way they could basically uh, it would be an easier way to verify if it's a legitimate account or not. So I've got a follow-up question to that. Have you had any um, have you had any like sketchy people trying to like solicit private servers off your bots? Or anything like that, or have you had any legitimate companies like Jagex being like, "Hey, we could probably use you here. Like, you'd actually be an asset to us." Has any of that stuff happened yet? Ah, uh, actually, no. But I don't really know much about making bots, <laughs> so I probably wouldn't I'm be. I'm sure you could. I'm sure you could figure it out. Whoa, though, right? don't encourage if you really him, bro. wanted to. <laughs> don't encourage <laughs> him. You figure it out, bro. <laughs> Figure out the grotesque guardian simulation. This man, right? Man, dude, in two oh, years' time, God. there's gonna be an. There's gonna be like in two years' time, there's gonna be a massive drama video, and there's gonna be oh, no. cuts of this podcast yeah. with this Yo, guy. You could totally like, make about bots. The, the most notorious <laughs> bot owner and how it all oh, began. No. Yeah, it zooms in <laughs> on Ray's eye just... <laughs> when he's, he's talking. Zooms in on his eye and his smile. It's uh, like yes, don't, make don't, bots. Hey, listen, if you're gonna do it, at least make bots to fight the bots. Because I, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and assume that. You've got love for the hmm. game, and you know that that would be bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, how's life yeah. as the the you know one of the speed running I guess content creators? You know the innovative PVM content creators. You know how's how's that going so far? Like how do you? you I mean, know, it's nice. Transitioning. It's fun. Into... It's really satisfying when you you, know, you get that you get that speed run, and you kind of have like a post speed run enjoyment of like you know mm. for, like rats of time and. I just get to enjoy after spending 90 hours at a boss <laughs> that you don't have a pet for. Yeah. <laughs> just, you spend 90 hours not killing the boss. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It, it's definitely, um, well, for, as far as speedrunning goes, it's a bit tricky when you want to do more speedrunning content, but there's only so many world records you can really get before it starts to become a little bit impossible to go for more records. Because obviously, okay, that was a 90 hour record, so being Grotesque Guardians again is yeah. not happening for a while, probably. Yeah. So that's only that's only a tricky thing when you try to speedrun content in mm -hmm. Runescape. It's like the faster you go, the less records are left 
to take until there's like a new update. What kind of so. ideas then do you have? Uh, like in your repertoire of streaming content, I'm not. I won't steal it. You know, I'm Iron Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I got I'm not stealing. Oh yeah. shit! You knew? No, I'm just kidding. I, oh, my no. hands are clean. Don't worry. Well, I'll probably like you know some more records. Like I do plan on improving Zora one more time in the future, but not for a while. It's gonna be a long grind. Um, you know, just uh some general speed running. You know, I, I do want to go back to Inferno and Chambers. Do some speed running there. Um, I want to make some more combat achievement guides and maybe a redo of some of mine with like the new gear. Because especially with the new update where they're proposing making changes to the combat achievement rewards, I think there's going to be a lot more interest in completing combat achievements. Especially with like, if they do a point system, there's a lot more incentive to do Grandmaster do tasks. What do you think of um, that? Like, the point system or just the overall changes? Yeah, the overall changes. What do you think of that? Um, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I do think they could do a bit more. Uh, like with like you know adding more rewards like a, a big one I feel like would be really nice is like if they made it so uh, you know they're gonna make it so NPC contact is faster or something but to, I think it's supposed to help tarot skipping but I feel like it'd be really cool if they gave us like, a reward if it's like a preferred slayer task list and you can pick a monster to have a higher weighting so then like you, know, you can cut your tarot skipping in half or something I don't know because um, I feel like we spend so much time tarot skipping to do a, a specific slayer task it, I don't know I feel like it'd be such a nice reward but, and, you know, maybe more magic cape swaps. Um, they could maybe make it, I know there's like a concern over magic cape swaps in the wilderness, so, I mean, they could make it a separate counter yeah, from PvP. Be separate. That's okay. Yeah. Are we going to save? I have this, like, niche opinion of, like, it's, like, I, it, it kind of surprised me that, like, they, uh, they kind of made, they're wanting to make combat achievements kind of, like, something that people should strive for more for the sake of rewards whereas like initially when you know it came out it was just something people do for for a flex like i don't I, you know what i mean it's just a small like opinion of mine i don't think it really matters right just kind of like how if if people go for a max cape they don't really go f so that you know your your max cape perks are you know going to be great it's not really that particularly great is other than for traveling right but like people mostly just do it because it's like oh it's a childhood dream and the combat achievements kind of felt like that for a bit so I don't know. It's kind of weird now that you know they decided they want to turn it into kind of like a very big reward focused content, right? That that people should do so that they can get the reward. So, like, what do you think about that dynamic, or do you do you think it's not that important? Um, it is interesting you mentioned Max Cape because I think mm -hmm. the Max Cape kind of started out as like this just cosmetic, but now it's like it's got so many features that are actually useful for speedrunning that it's almost like a key thing to get. It's kind of like why I need to max because it's kind of like important for some speedruns now. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. I feel like it's uh, it's nice that combat achievements can incentivize players to kind of like work to bettering um, their account and like their skill at the game. Kind of like with the Inferno Cape, you know, it's like you know a big flex item, but it's also like a useful item. Like it, it gives mm -hmm. that extra incentive to grind it out, and it's such a, a good feeling when you finally get it. So I personally, I'm. A, I think it's I think it's a good change. Like I know it's like you know it becomes more than just um, sort of cosmetic niche, but I feel like it, that extra encouragement for players to you know go out for comfort zone, try out more difficult content. I think is really good, um, personally at least. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of indifferent nowadays, but you know it was just kind of like unexpected. You know, came out of nowhere there. So, Ray, I'm a little bit out of outdated with this because I've just been playing Fresh Star Wars and that's about it. Yeah. What rewards have they? Oh, um, Kirby can tell like you. Proposed. No, he he's looking forward to them. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let the man tell uh, tell you. <laughs> okay, so we got a few. There was one where it was like uh, like I said, <laughs> there was gonna reduce the time to cast the NPC contact spell, but I think they they may have changed their mind on that and might just add it somewhere else because there was a lot of like uh you know comments on Reddit and such about like kind of weird how this a spell book um spell animation is kind of changing, um. Beyond that, there's stuff like uh, at Barrows, you can have your prayer not drain with a hilt. Um, I think it's like a medium tier reward. It was even medium or hard. Damn, um, that's quite big. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, that would I would see that on par with if it was a medium reward as well, on par with getting like the double runes or increased rune rate that you get from Barrows. And you're right. Yeah. I understand what you're saying now, where it's like it ties in as almost like a thing that you you have to do. Should, now. You should yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, because if you go and do barrow runs and you do like a thousand barrow runs without getting a hundred percent increased runes, or whatever it is, it's like you're an idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just lost so much, yeah. so much by not doing that. Yeah, so, no, yeah. You I totally feel like an idiot doing barrows. I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mint's, a, mint's like a thousand dry right now. 
I'm just gonna that. throw in a whole series at this point. No. Sorry, boys. <laughs> it's crept. So yeah. sorry, sorry. Continue, continue. Yeah, but they also had like a different tiers. They give you uh, more warrior tokens, like 100% more on easy, 200% more warrior tokens on medium, and like the warriors guild, just kind of make that easier. Um, just they also get like more points of pest control. These are kind of like more like the lower tier rewards. So like additional point on easy, additional two points on medium, uh, additional three points on hard. So just making like those grinds a bit faster. Um, oh, interesting one. This one, uh, you can increase your cannon to have more cannonballs up to 60, I think, at the highest tier. So that'd oh, be kind wow. of interesting. Um, I'm, not gonna, I'm just looking at the list. <laughs> I'm, I don't have these cool. memories. I'm just looking at the list right now. You My memory is not this good. The most this crazy is, one. This is awesome. I actually, I truly think that the way that Jagex implement their updates is like underrated. It's like there are so many games out there who, like, this is a really good example of where Jagex are basically saying, "Hey, you can go out of your way to get this perk," versus a lot of games who just turn around and say, "Well, what we're actually going to do is we're going to make it inconvenient for you to do this thing, and if you want it." then you have to do this, whether that be a pay war or whatever it is. Whereas Jagex are being like, we're just going to make it more convenient, but you're going to have to put a little extra work in to get. That's awesome. That's a really, really good way of implementing that. Like mm -hmm. 60 cannonballs, you know, no prayer drain. That, it doesn't, you don't need it, but it's like, it would be nice to have, you know? Yeah. Dude, you haven't even talked and... about the craziest one yet. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it. Oh, uh, crazy! Um, I was I was finished going through the list. We'll get yeah. to a craziest one, I guess. <laughs> crazy. Uh, oh yeah, nightmare stuff. zone stuff and uh, yeah, imbuing stuff is fifty percent cheaper at hard tier. So, I guess that's a bit easier, I guess. Uh, but at soul wars and nightmare mm -hmm. zone, and then it was also oh yeah, superior slayer monsters have a one in a hundred and fifty chance to spawn at twenty five percent chance better. Yeah, twenty five percent higher chance basically. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of nice. There's also okay. Expeditious bracelets and star bracelets have a 10% chance to fully recharge instead of breaking. It's kind of random, but sure. <laughs> sure yeah, that's nice oh. Iron Man stuff. <laughs> you know, those okay. are Iron Man stuff, that's for sure. Somebody yeah. from the Iron Man community was like, hey, can you do that for us? And they're like, gotcha. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. there's, a, there's a vested interest, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. there's many. That's some, there's some Iron Man uh, Iron plugs Man. in there. I, look, I did not even ask. Jagex to do anything for common achievements. I just thought it was cool that like Mate, you don't have to. It. Half of them are Iron Man anyways. I know. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, are. Yeah. There, there is definitely some <laughs> bias there. Because you know? that's the it. that's literally an Iron Man thing, hundred percent. Okay, sorry. Okay, but uh, yeah, then there's um a new blessing that can when worn makes uh charge items give a five percent chance to not consume charges. Very small, I guess, for Iron Man mm -hmm. kind of buff, I guess. And then the big one, um, summoned frawls last a hundred percent longer. Yeah, so, wow. that is okay. crazy. I've that never crazy. ever summoned thralls. Is that like pretty good? <laughs> oh, does this, it mess with stuff up? Busted, you those things right there. The, the thing just doesn't care about your defense. It just hits, you know. It, like every every, it's, it's like a whip, right? It's like a whip speed. It hits and it basically doesn't miss <laughs> ever. Like yeah, basically yeah, fools so are fun, good, man. but so you can't good. use them against other players, mate. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And which no, is like, good. So good people. Yeah. It's so good, PVI. Man. Oh, safe. No. So good at PVM, dude. It's the nuts. Imagine if you could take. P Imagine if there were like PVP pools. <laughs> well, you oh, remember no, no. the summoning? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you be so, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> would it be so troll if there was like an actual pool you could summon that was like a greater PVP share? I don't know. Oh, and it just chipped away like one or two damage at your opponent as you're fighting. Yeah, but you better triple your your HP stats. You know when that, that happens. Be, yeah. That could actually be so good though, oh. because in like. In the rev caves where you have to entangle or freeze and run away, it's like that would probably no longer work because your fool would just like follow them around the wall and just like yeah. start attacking. Oh, them. That's actually, yeah. like, that's pretty strong. <laughs> Yo, I, I just thought of a crazy random ass thing that has uh, very little to do with this, but because of the idea that like, you know, if you if you think about adding something like a thrall to PvP, I'm sure your character would get one shot so much more often, right? Just because all the extra DPS. Like, would, would you think at some point? In the future, when you just add things that are so strong that simply having 99 hit points is not enough, right? Like, literally, without skill, you just get two shot, like, one shot all the time. Like, would, would they yep. have to increase the HP cap for PvP at some point for certain things? Like, for certain, uh, like... Because, like, I mean, what, think about it, right? At some point, you're just going to have new weapons that are so strong, the auto attacks will literally hit you for a 70, right? 
or something. Yeah. Well, like, this has always been a thing. Point? This has always been a thing with PvP. There's two things they can. But not special attack though, like auto attacks, just like straight up, like yeah. you know, boom, you get hit yeah. at sixty, right? You know what I'm saying? So, if they care about the people that are in the wilderness, so. which is like yet to be seen, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's kind of like they do one or two things. It's like they either nerf it specifically inside of the wildy, or they just don't allow it, or they could increase the HP. But then that's that's yeah. sort of like on that dangerous yeah. territory of like pre EOC. PvP is basically that, fucked just... though later on because yeah. like you, PVM right we 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 can we can get by with stronger weapons for some time but like PvP they kind of can't they can't even use it. They're banned. Yeah, that, <laughs> it's, it's always been the problem with PvP though. They're banned. Like, it's always been a a genuine concern, but they've done a really good job so far with all of that. Like so for I'm example when when. <laughs> When Overlord, no, no. When, when Overloads first came into the game, like back, oh my God. I don't know, probably ten years ago, for like the first few days to a week of Overloads being released, you could use them in the wilderness. People were at Mage Bank at like 125 strength, wrecking kids. <laughs> you don't even understand. And then they removed it. They were like, yeah, actually, we should probably not allow that. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. People People whipping like 60s back then, or whatever it was, you know, it was, it was too much. Well, I, I mean, like, I'm sure they could do it, right? Like, for example, only certain activities of PvP, like, you could have scaled up HP to allow you to use all these new things. But not, not, not like normal wilderness, right? You know how, like, they're adding higher level wilderness or something? I'm not saying they, yeah, yeah. they should do it for that, but I'm saying in the future, if they want to allow these people to use all these crazy new weapons, I mean, they would simply have to scale the HP up, but like in a specific place. Yeah. Right. The thing is, I, I don't think they will, because if yeah. they were to have wanted to even go down that line, they would have just implemented that with Torva, which they didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, right? I mean, I don't but think Torva's I, I don't gone think to that would. point yet. You know, I don't think Torva's really reached that critical mass. But anyways, I, I'm off topic, Maybe not. but I'm, yeah. I'm kind of, I'm down to go back to Kirby topic, but just, just you know, just throw some PvP uh, idea love there. Yeah. <clears throat> Do we have a topic, dude? I, uh, I, I mean, yeah, I guess the combat that. achievements. I don't even remember, oh, you, you, I guess you wrapped that up, huh? I guess you wrapped that up. <laughs> uh, uh, we were, we're talking about frules, man. We were talking about combat yeah, achievements. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, yeah I, okay, I want to say, I could just see if Thralls came to PvP, just like a big butt naked clan, just just demolishing <laughs> people with just their Thralls, dude. They would just bring just enough runes to summon one. <laughs> Min, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this, man. So, like, listen, I love. God damn love watching your videos and your streams when you're playing fresh fresh worlds but like something that just bugs me it really oh, bugs no. me is that everything you do has to be within the wilderness and i understand that you <laughs> like the wildy and you like pking but like there uh... comes a point when it just becomes so inefficient to be like killing fire giants at like 50 wildy with a fucking rune crossbow or something it's like bro there's just there's a point where it's like there's things in the game now they've put it there specifically to like speed your progress up you know what i mean and i want you to go explore the rest of the game dude because i know you don't even know you've never even used a fool before come on bro you've been out for all like I a know year out there is there's one silk stall that you love and there is. that's all i know other than that it's the wilderness dude i can't be listen man. yeah man, man. <clears throat> listen man when i get my first pair of dragon claws and you're begging me you're begging <laughs> me to use them on fresh start worlds I'm gonna make you regret those words, okay? <laughs> you're gonna get a stool. You're gonna get a stool stand tattooed on your ass or something, man. If you want <laughs> Who's doing the tattooing, man? Just have some strange do you tattooing oh a star on my ass? I'm a little scared, bro. But no, you're right. I should probably learn more Expand. about. It. Think of it as a long-term protest, you know? Just like only. No, it, 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 I'm, I'm only. Bro, I'm playing. I'm playing. I, I love the way you play the game. I truly do. It's different, and that's really refreshing. It's like to do something very inefficient. Not only is hilarious to watch, but it's refreshing because it's like, okay, this guy's just doing his thing. And I'm, I'm, like, it is what it is. I genuinely enjoy watching it. It's great. There are times when I'm watching and I'm just like, bro, he could have done this, and it would have saved him so much time. <laughs> have you ever watched this channel yet? I not replan at all. I should have. You done Bro, I know you didn't because you were doing the, <laughs> you were doing the agility pyramid at like eight hours in. And I'm like, I was, like, I was oh trying to God. go to Imps, bro. I was trying to go to Revs day one. It goes, you need 100K. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they added that a year ago. Yeah. Oh, dude. But like, there goes my whole plan, bro. Th this, this is the thing, right? This is the thing. So Mint always gives me shit for the silk, sto uh, the silk stalls, right? 
This yeah. is the thing, Kirby, right? Okay. Yep. Because one twisted leagues, which I really didn't have my head in. The I just sat in the silk stall. I can't remember here. why. I just <laughs> did it, right? So this is the thing. So the silk stalls are amazing <clears throat> because it guarantees GP in a fresh economy. Okay. It's guaranteed money. Whereas you take something like the agility arena in the um in the desert. And guaranteed. it's like, okay, well, we're talking about regular right. XP rates. So realistically, to do that with a decent success rate of not falling every single lap, it's like you probably want to be close to 50 agility. How long does that take to get in a fresh economy with one times XP rates? A long old time. So then you see Mid Mad Cal there with like the 30 agility requirement it takes. Oh, and oh, he's no. doing he's Very completing little. a lap like every hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> It was so oh funny. God. Bro, at, at one point, right, Mint Mad Cow had like 10,000 coins in his inventory on stream. And he's there on stream. He's like, man, I really need to get this 100k so I can go to revs. At that point, I had been killing yeah. Revenants for a solid eight hours. It hurts, dude. It hurts. <laughs> oh. I'll have you know, though, the first eight hours, I was not doing the agility pyramid. I was dying in the wild to big mobs of fire bolters. All right. So, <laughs> I mean, at that point. It was game over, but uh, yeah, I did not strategy plan at all. Honestly, I kind of I watch your watch your videos of black mass farming. I got so jealous. I wanted to grind a money maker like that, so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do barrows. Yeah, yeah. It, it, dude, I'm really proud of you for doing that. It's so yeah. much better than just seeing in the wildy all the time. But this is, is not. I would have made more just at revs, dude. I so, am negative in the bank account right now, dude. Of barrows, I'm dude. praying to God we get an Ivan night where we're going. You will. You will. You will. You will get something eventually. But that's the thing. That's what PVM teaches you that PvP doesn't. PVM teaches you patience. PvP does not, bro. It's why all PKers are all whining and it's like, oh, I can't find anyone to kill when they're just surrounded by people that they just don't want to kill. Whereas with PVM, you do 100 chests at the Barrows, you get nothing. And then eventually you get an Aram's top and it's like, oh my god, thank god. Finally, it's paid off. You know? Negative two mil in the debt. Yo, thank you for this Aram's top four weeks later, right? Because he's fucking got <laughs> 200 mil towards his one bill. Stand. Yo, thank God for this Aram's top. But yeah. but the other, the other thing is, like, Revenants right now, like, I've seen it, bro. It's crazy. Everyone's it's... got TB. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're, you're going in there, you're getting just ulted, you're getting tb you're getting hit all the time. That is not great, right? It's not even too late for you to do Black Mass, by the way. You need to do the dwarf cannon if you want to do it, and you have to get your farming up, which isn't that difficult, mate. It's not that bad, I promise you. And you only need like level forty something. It's easy. It sounds okay. like absolute garbage. But I was thinking I do need to find like a secret money maker that a pure can do. And I don't know what that would be. But I, like even if I have to work towards it, Zora. you've never you've never done Zora before. Oh, Zora yeah, I could use Zora. I could use Zora. You think I should grind towards that? It's pretty... I would say, consider, considering the blowpipe right now is like 50 mil, fresh start world GP, I would yeah. say, yes, go and do Zora. It's amazing. You're going to make more money. I need so many pre ranks though. It sounds... Anything else? Anything other than... I, it's probably just Zora, honestly, at this point. On a God. one defense, Zora barrows... Um, what, 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 what have you got against getting defense levels, mate? <laughs> oh no, I need a it's transferring to the main game, dude. It's oh, you're, okay. pure, yeah, I want that PKing pure ready for the uh wildy updates. So I don't want to just make some well, random main. Dude, I can tell you this. If you decide that you want to make it into a, a Zerker and get it like barrel gloves, it will be substantially better for you to make money on those servers, and also you're gonna have a sick account as well. So you've already got a baby pure though, I swear you've got pure yes. everywhere. Yeah, I have a baby pure. I borrowed other pure though. I want I want one of my own. 60 max, maybe 75. I was going to do a Fang pure, but... I mean, you can you can come and do some raids. You can do raids, but you're going to have to wait for the price of stuff to go down, because, like, I mean, I think the Trident's, like, 12 mil right now. It's too much. Golly. Shall Even we, on, shall I'm we start that. talking about Fresh Start, since we just kind of erupted into it? Yeah, we're here. We're ready, bro. Um, all right, so biggest thing play, with Fresh so... Start. Yeah. You, know, you couldn't handle it, right? So let's be real mm -hmm. here. It's for true men. Right. Yeah, Blue I just was bend time and space. Bryce Cup didn't want to play it because it was regular XP rates, mate. Yeah, yeah that was part of it, because I, I, I'm limited on time, and I can't add extra hours to my day, so, yeah. Mate, e ever since Rice Cup dropped the glasses, like, he also <sighs> dropped his efficiency and his hard work ethic. 
<laughs> no, I've been playing still. He's like, a shell just, of his former self. I just can't play two accounts right now, dude. <laughs> oh, that's Next that's week. fair enough. To be honest with you, uh, something I really interesting now. about Fresh Start Worlds is that it's actually got more players now than what it did like day two. Yeah, like there there are one. five. There, maybe I don't know if oh, day definitely. one. Definitely, I remember day one. The only world that was packed had four fifty. The rest had sixty, and one had zero. Really? One. Yeah, it was really dead. I was like, dude, this is not. I was like, am I regretting my decision here? <laughs> like there ain't nah. no one playing right now, dude. Th this is the, this is the thing. Also. I'll tell you an observation that I've made recently that is quite interesting. Mint, would you say it's fair to say that the wilderness and fresh start worlds right now is kind of popping? Like it's kind of alive. It's it's getting locked down by the well, nothing against swappers, but let's be real. If you're swapping bills, yeah. you're gonna try to demolish the wild on your account. You're getting your money's worth. Yeah. So it is getting absolutely swamped right now. But it, what would you right say now. that it's quite active? Like oh, it's there's definitely actual, active. There's action everywhere. Okay. So this is an observation I, I've made recently, right? It's like, so you look at Deadman Mode, right? Deadman Mode, you've got probably time fi times 15 to times 25 XP rates, mm -hmm. okay? This is the thing with Deadman Mode. Everybody loves Deadman Mode for like the first three days, right? What happens in those three days is that everybody's kind of newbie. Everybody's got like pretty bad stats and like bad gear. And then what happens is past those three days, People have completed DT, people have clan man moded, and people have got... Basically, you're going to be there in Zami robes, having a good time with snare, killing people, and then the next thing you know is bitter, bitter logs in next to you in full ancestrals, and it's just not fun. Okay? It's not fun. It's really not. Like, for anybody who isn't swapping or in a clan, it's a terrible time, and it's the reason why after three days the game mode just, it just plummets because people are just like, why am I going to play this? Like, there's no point huge disadvantage it doesn't make sense people are sharing accounts people are doing whatever and they're getting away with it and it's like you understand why people quit now the interesting thing is with fresh start worlds people are swapping sure people are clan man moding but the xp rates are normal so it means that people are still relatively low levels right now and what it's done is it's basically like prolonged that period for the wilderness life or I see loads of people PKing because I tell you the Ferox all the time. The amount of people that are there in like Mystics and like Zami robes going out to the wildy, their boys and just having a good time, it's it's beautiful. I it love is. seeing it. And, and I what I will say is I really hope that Jagex can look at that and they take something away from it because there's clearly an issue with after three days some dude pulling up in like max mage and just killing everything it sees you know it's like there's something that there, there has to be like a compromise on the middle ground between the xp rates being too much and the xp rates being too little oh, right easy why don't I mean, they do normal xp for like the first week or two and then they just slowly ramp it up they, i mean they could but i think that, that would people would definitely play it like here's the thing dude uh, who was it? Somebody came into my chat the other day and was like, man, they know that even us sweaty PKers, we're still going to sweat it out for one times XP. And I was like, damn, you're right. Like, people are really enjoying this, even on one XP. I don't think it's a bad idea. I, I genuinely don't think it would be a bad idea because, I mean, we're almost, what are we, like, three weeks into into this now? But, like, you're still looking at most people that barely have teleblock. You know, people have like seventy range. Hey, or maybe, what's wrong with not having a telly block out here? Huh? Is, hey, no, it's hey, perfect. Hey, hey, hey. It's great. It's good. It's it's good. Wild, that's boy. my point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's, have. That, that's <laughs> the thing that's so so good about it. It's like you know, people are still being able to have that fun time PKing. It's not being ruined by you know what usually happens. So my point I mean, is, I, I hope the Jagex look at this and they think we there's something here because there really is. I would say that there are probably like people are actively PKing more in the three weeks this has been out versus like the first three days of Dead Man mode when that comes out. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's dead. Three days in, people quit. People aren't about it. So, just That's an observation. No, it, it's Frodo. an interesting observation. I've been, dude. I've been actually looking at these private servers coming out, right? Not private servers, but what would you call them? Just permanent game modes. 
and uh, honestly, it's weird that dead man mode swapping kind of killed it, whereas fresh start swapping kind of is the backbone of the economy, right? Because you don't mind going out in the wild if you swap, because swapping's not that bad, and then losing a small portion of your bank. You're like, all right, I can live through that. Whereas dead man mode, you swap, it's all gone. You maybe have these eight items in your safe box, which is the saddest thing. You just open that thing up, see what to liquidate. But it's so much different on Fresh Start. You're like, you just feel relief. Like when I'm doing Barrows, I'm like looking around for skulls. I don't even know why it's so ingrained in my blood to be terrified playing Dead Man Mode. Whereas Fresh Start is just like, all right, I don't mind yeah. if I die that bad. You know, and then I, I, I just, yeah. you know, not that I do it, but people can. I, I'm sure it's fairly cheap still, too. Yeah, no, it's, I, I think the rate right now, so the rate right now for the swap rate, for anyone that doesn't know listening, so you can currently swap gold from Fresh Start Worlds into the regular game. And the last time I checked, which was like yesterday, it was like one to six slash seven. So one mil in Fresh Start Worlds is six to seven mil in the regular game. Now, I think that that price, interestingly enough, is reflective of a few things. And one of those things are bonds. Because currently in old, uh, sorry, currently in Fresh Start Worlds, you can buy a bond, which is exactly the same as a bond in the regular game, for under a million gold. Okay, so so here's the thing: there's a lot of people like me who think of that, and it's like, well, if you were to just buy a hundred bonds on Fresh Start Worlds, which would cost you a hundred mil, and you just left them on your account for six months, in six months' time, your investment has times six. Or whatever the price is of a bond in the regular server, right? You see what I'm saying? So here's the thing: the people that are swapping the GP, they basically like they they've set the rate, okay? They've capped it, and right now I don't know if this is um, I I don't know if it's just um coincidence, but it's it's bang on point where it's like the bond is like bang on. It's like if you were to swap right now, it would cost you six mil in main game to get a bond. You see what I'm saying? Because it's one to six, one to seven. That's how it works, though, ain't it? Like these things just kind of regulate themselves in an economy. Not well, like spot on like that, but well, this is the thing. These are like individuals that are controlling it. I'm talking about the swappers who are like, "I'll buy your gold yeah. for you know six mil old school RuneScape." The reason why it's that price is because it reflects the bonds. It will be really interesting to see if that continues over the period of time the Fresh Start Worlds is out. I don't know if it will. I, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's it's interesting how these servers are actually doing because it's kind of like it, it started not so good and it it's got better. You gotta understand this doesn't happen. This isn't leagues, twisted leagues where it's just two thousand people every world in twenty different worlds for however long that's going on for. But it's certainly not dead man mode where it starts as two thousand people and then after a week there's like a hundred people per world. This has gone the other way. It's actually getting better and more people are playing. So. I'll be interested to see what the takeaway is from this. Yeah, and, and going back to dead man mode real quick, maybe the, the reason why PvP dies so fast too is um honestly just gear tiers, right? Like the lower level of PKing, Dorg bows, fire bolts, fire strikes, the, the skill cap is relatively low, but the fun amount is is insane. Like if you have a bunch of people day one hit up lavas, you're just decimating this poor dude in Zami robes, you're having the time of your life. But that doesn't really yeah. necessarily last too long. That's dead man mode and then fresh start. But fresh start that lasted for like a week. Well, and I think if gonna... fresh start, I think if it's sorry, if it's proved anything, it's the, the the PKers are willing to put in the hours to have their fun at one times XP rate. Oh, right? Yeah. We we just want anything at this point. Like I said, we ain't we ain't picky, bro. All if we were to buffet, there's probably only like one piece of corn left. We're still eating it. We don't care. We just want something there. We've been starved. You know what I mean? So starved <laughs> that people will make fresh accounts to go do PvP on a fresh server. Like, yeah, it's fun. It's genuinely it's fun. fun. You know? People but are having those, a blast. As those tiers of gear get stronger, though, it kind of like, could you imagine a week in or two two weeks into dead man mode, someone's already got first barrow set, maybe an armor piece, maybe some crazy spec weapon. Honestly, in my mind, I'm like, I'm not logging in today. Because I know that man could possibly be in my vicinity, and he's just gonna fuck my whole week, right? What do you exactly. do versus that guy? And that's when swapping 
and clamming really take a toll on that game mode because they just feed one dude. And that man has that. It's like a candy shop. He goes around all the training spots. Everyone screams like it's Lion King and the fucking antelopes just killed Simba or whatever <laughs> the fuck happened there. Like, you just, you just run it. You can't do anything with that, man. You could turn around, but you're dead. Did or slap you if it's VLS. You got blue dehyde on. He's like, I got to feed the team. Right. You're yeah. Gone. It's There's just, you can like, to be quite honest, it's just shit. And <laughs> if yeah. Jagex don't, like, actually take something away from this experience, then I'm going to just be like, well, I don't think there's a lot of hope. But hopefully that's not the case, and they do. I well, really hope they do. Talking hmm. about, I don't know what we want to talk about, Rice. I don't know where we want to I mean, we, we have, like, the anime topic left, and we could still ask Kirby some more PVM uh, stuff. Whatever is he's more interested in, I, you know, we give it to him. Yo, Kirby, right. do you ever play these fresh start modes, or are you just, like, a hard main game kind of guy? Uh, I mean, like, I played Leagues whenever Leagues comes out. Leagues is fun. Um, yeah, um, I think I may have played a little bit of a first demo mode, but just, you know, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the leagues a lot. I didn't do Fresh Star Wars because I was kind of like halfway through my grossest Guardian grind. And um, I just wanted to get the record already committed. I was definitely debating playing Fresh Star Wars, but decided uh, not to. But yeah, I always play the leagues, though. Leagues are a lot of fun. Yeah, I remember I, I you, you rushed like Inferno, right? You were one of the first for Trailblazer. You were the first, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, for Trailblazer, I got the first Inferno cape, which was pretty hype. Yeah, he was already like, making moves back shit. then. <laughs> yeah, that was like the first time the Inferno was in the League world, so it was like crazy. Yeah. What did you I do it with? That. What gear did you complete it with? I had like, was, I, you know, I made a video on it, it was kind of funny. Um, I had like a crystal bow, some dehyde, I think red dehyde. My my food was all <laughs> pineapple weird. pizzas for food. Um, <laughs> what on earth? It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I had some prayer potions. That was pretty much it. Because th those those wow. were relics back in the day that made you hit harder. I'm assuming that that's what helped. Yeah, because it was like it was literally I think on day two, technically day three, but I was up for 24 hours at that point, so it was like day two for me. Oh and I was, I was literally up for 24 hours doing this like <laughs> scuffed low level cape. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Well, yeah, yeah. I, was... I think you, I think you would have liked Fresh Start Worlds considering the like world's first stuff. Yeah. You know, hey, well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you this, dude. It's definitely not too late, mate. Yes, it is. Not, yes, it is. Not. For it's first not. world, it's yes, not. give up. There's <laughs> no <laughs> way. Nah, There's no one out there downing a can of Adderall into Mountain Dew getting it first. Yeah, but He's already maxed. This, this, is, this is the thing. This is the thing. Kirby is fresh. All of the dudes, like myself and everyone that's been, like, sweating hard, we've been doing it now for, like, three weeks. Everybody's tired. Everybody. Solo Mission told me the other day he's sleeping for 10 to 12 hours a day, bro. You know, he snooze it. He doesn't have that fire. He doesn't have the hunger. If Kirby comes in here fresh and he's got like a goal, a game plan, I'm sure he can do it. First to pull a twisted bow, first to do this. I don't know. No, I'm sorry, I man. Believe. It's locked. I believe though. I'll watch the series, man. But there's that's such a grind. You'd have you to be fresh start world's catch up series. Is it okay. possible to get worlds first after a month? Imagine the hype around that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I wonder what's even left. World first up one, of course, is Guardians. So I'll be the goal. Cool. <laughs> I mean, there, oh there's like God. world Get first all the max gear pretty much, again. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much all of the skill. Well, not all of the skills, but there's still loads of skills that aren't 99. Really? Like, yeah, like people, there's loads of them. Every like, skill has a rambunctious keyboard warrior behind it with a pee bucket. And like I said, a big old thing of Mountain Dew Rail. I'll mm. oh, have a look. Right. No, Only man. Mountain Dew, no other sodas. So, Only Red yeah. Bull, maybe. You got to remember, this is regular XP rate. So the highest attack level in game is ninety five. Oh wow! The, high, the highest defense is ninety six. The highest strength level is ninety nine. There's two people with ninety nine. SP right there. Um, Spoilers. The, the highest <laughs> HP is ninety seven. <laughs> there are two people with ninety nine range. The highest power level was eighty one. Eighty one, dude. Um, two people have 99 magic. Cook it, cook in. There's a lot of well, actually, there's not too many. Seven. Raw food is expensive, man. I know, I know, it is expensive. That's Very. the thing. You can make money doing anything. Like it is. It, it's been so fun. It's literally been a case of like, if you skill, you will earn good money. Like you can make money with anything. Just you just gotta give it a little thought. Uh, highest ring crafting is 87. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. 
my god. Uh, somebody does have 99 farming. His name is Plant Clicker. And he's <sighs> the, the second person in rank is only level 90 farming. And they have over Wait. double the XP. So it basically How did he implies. Get that? I but he must have probably. swapped for being a clan or something like that. Maybe. Oh, yeah, even that something. so, even if you were racking mage trees every day, you still wouldn't be. He would have had I to do like probably. the mini game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tie farm. He definitely I, did tie oh, farm. Oh, probably. Yeah. It's pretty good XP too. Yeah, he, he's yeah. double. Just Damn. boring as hell. But hey, some people don't yeah. know what boring is. So he was the just highest, sitting there, the twenty-four hours, like, yeah. doing that. Oh my god. Like but yeah, it's. It, it's still young. Like there's still time to play. It's definitely not too late. It's, not it's even time to play. Yet. I'll play the next well, I don't one. Know about those I should be more free. I should be more free. I'll, you know. <laughs> nah, yeah. you probably won't get a 99. But my point is, there's there's a lot to be taken. There's a lot on here. Do you guys want to hear something hilarious? By the way, so <laughs> with with like the new economy and stuff, you get all of these people that like gatekeep items, and it drives me crazy. It's like. First dude that gets like 80 fletching or whatever it is for a magic short bow, and it's like spoke to the dude. I was like, man, when you get I, I was like adding him on the high scores before he had the level. I was like, dude, listen, I really need the MSB. I got the mage logs to go, bowstrings on deck. Just let me know. I'm checking. He's like, Yeah, man, I'll get you. So the day comes when he gets his he gets his uh his fletching level for a magic short bow. I think it's 80 for a magic short bow. Is it 80? I think so, yeah. And uh you know, I messaged the guy, and I'm just like, hey, man, this is the rank one Fletcher. I'm going to out this guy. Screw this kid. And I'm like, hey, dude, uh, can I get a magic short bone? He's like, yeah, yeah, sure thing. It's going to cost. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. I, at this point, I've got, cost. like, a hundred magic blocks cost. because I've been, you know, killing revenants. I killed them for, like, God knows how long. And um, he's like, he's like, how many magic logs you got? And I'm just like, I got a few, man. You know, I got a few. I'll be, I'm happy to supply you with magic logs for one MSB, which seems fair. And, uh, I offered him 15 magic logs and like 15k cash for one MSB, right? And this dude is like, I need 50 magic logs and about 50,000 coins. Oh, and I'm you like, for a ride, bro. <laughs> but, uh, this is, I don't mind people like the doing stupid shit risen, like that, but it's sir. the fact that he didn't want to negotiate, right? At all. <laughs> and he also, he dropped, bear in mind, this is like day two. Day two, he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, mate. The, uh, what did he say? He said the market's already set its price. <laughs> so I, I naturally basically say you are a fucking idiot. You are literally full of shit. Bro, he and the said, next day, in this the next day, bro, I put an offer in for a magic short bow and it buys for 2,000 coins. Oh. And it was like, it was the greatest fucking feeling, man. Oh my God. It's just, I hate people like, it just annoys me. It's like, you know, I understand you, you got to get something because you're the first there. You are the gatekeeper. <laughs> But it's like, Dude, he's bro, the god. it's day two. <laughs> you know, it's just like, how stupid do you think people are? Like, you're not dealing with children anymore. You're dealing with mostly fully grown adults playing this fucking video game. If you're trying to convince me that the magic short bow is 50k and that's the price for the next god knows how long, you think I'm fucking dumb? Like, what? Who are you trying to convince here? Do you know what I mean? Tom anyway. is deeply disturbed. Uh, you, yeah, I, was, really, I always knew this. His pride was, was, was hurt. <laughs> His trust. You, you might have trimmed it for you. You might have trimmed it if you're lucky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah don't, 50k don't, for the I trim. Hate now, I yeah. hate Bro, I, oh, yeah, yeah. There, there's been loads of things like that in this economy, though. And it's, you know, it's just a part of that. All right. MMORPG oh, you, experience. You, know, you know what the oh, perfect transition is? You know, now that we're talking about, like, the start of a new account. Right, we should bring it back to Kirby. What was what was the start of your your first account like? Right, what was your, you know, struggles and scams and 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 business dealings that failed? You know, what were some of those uh, like, memorable ones from back in what year? You know, what year did you start, sir? Uh, you like in RuneScape or like in old school? Yeah, RuneScape, RuneScape. Let's go all oh, the way back. You know, all right. the way. We, we, it's tradition to ask the guests, you know, what their childhood, you know, like tragedies were in RuneScape. Right? True. Or or, or, or successes too. 50-50. True. Yeah, okay, we might even ask how long you played for me. No, we haven't. I was like, Gracie. I was like, in my yeah. head, like, Gracie, you didn't ask the oh. most it's basic we question. On a podcast in a I minute. saved that's the basic why. question for you, bro, you know? And you didn't ask it. That's my, that's my always go-to ice-breaking question. And, and I'm okay with that, you, you know? Because I'm like, who doesn't want to know what the guest's origin is, right? Like, come on. We, you know, don't worry, we're, 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 we're doing it now. We're doing it now. Okay. Start. I think I started, like, around 2000... Five or four or six, like around 
long time. Like, my Famous brain can't go back that far. Famous, Famous um, Famous. It was like a most random start. Like I heard it's, uh, like in elementary school, uh, one of my friends telling someone else about the game. And it said something about like prospecting ores. And I was like, oh shit, this game sounds cool. And I don't know, <laughs> somehow that got me into it. Prospecting um, ores. <laughs> Yeah, so when you saw like your first here. mithril ore, like <laughs> like what was your reaction? Like when you saw the blue rock, you were you know were you like like praying to it or something? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> I do remember mining a bunch of coal to save up like a rune plate or something once. So I guess I did like the coal. Uh, uh, Mr. Rune plate? That's not just something you do. That's no, like no, something you to work it. towards after two years. That's just trying to buy it. No, to, to, like I like I sold like I, I mined coal to make GP to buy like ah. a rune plate body. I just thought, like, I'm, in my head, Autumnology <laughs> is out there just mining stuff. So oh. I don't no, know he's a good PGMer, not not like Autumnology. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But yeah. And I don't know how, like, a lot of random stuff. Uh, I remember dying to a, a plant random event or something during Underground Pass. Or, you know, that's something weird during Underground Pass. Like, a, back when random events were dangerous. I don't know. The mysterious plan. <laughs> yeah, I swear, like, I died to her or something. Like, when it was it either there or some other weird place. Yeah, when, when it starts growing legs and chases you around. That yeah. Thing, oh, it was some, like, I was, like, low HP and, like, it was, like, most absurd death. Um, <laughs> you know, yeah, I fell for weird. a couple scams back in the day. Like, well, I remember one time I fell for the Guthan Spear Leaf Blade Spear spam, uh, scam or something. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that. what? That's or so something. bad. I mean, like, it, the, the cost is so bad. Not that, yeah. not that you're dumb, that it's just the cost. Oh, Guthrie's spear back in the oh day was God. like one of the best items. That must have people. been your life savings. Like, which game did you play after? You know? Because like, <laughs> I, I assume you quit. Because <laughs> that's what I do, you know? Like, shit. Or did you yeah, like I, man up and recover instantly? Like, God. Um, that would be insane. I think uh, I, I recovered. I recovered. I, I, because I think I was like trying to oh. merge or something in Valley Park or something. I don't know. Trying to like, uh, oh. find sell stuff. And I got, I just, uh, I, I fell for it. <laughs> um, I remember one time, at least the most wow. random things, like, back in the yeah. day, I actually did kind of PK a bunch, because, you know, everyone was new back then, so it was, like, the world was a very different experience. Um, I remember, like, I PK somebody who, like, you know, I was just going, like, in super cheap, bad gear, and, like, I managed to PK somebody who had, like, a rims or some crazy stuff, like, it was just, like, a huge PK, and I'm, like, holy shit. I'm, like, I'm, like, in, like, 100k gear, but, like, we're all noobs back then, so it's just I can't so believe different. you got him for that, what the hell? Yeah, man. <laughs> what you do with that money, that's, then? You know, yeah. that's reminded me. That's unlocked a memory oh. from my childhood. So this is this is so bad, right? So back when I was um, this was secondary school. So I don't know what you guys call that, like high school or whatever. In the young the young years when I was a young teenager. So <clears throat> I played RuneScape. All of my friends, they all went over to like Guild Wars. Guild Wars was their game that they played. I couldn't go over to Guild Wars because our computer could barely run RuneScape. So I was yeah. stuck with RuneScape, right? <clears throat> One of my friends at the time, who, funnily enough, I'm not friends with anymore nowadays, but he used, what did he do? He traded his Guild Wars account for a RuneScape account. This was back when we were like proper noobs. Like I'm talking like, you know, I might have had like a Dragon Mace and, or like a a DDS or something, but that was like the extent of my bank. And he mm -hmm. trades his Guild Wars account for this RuneScape account, and it's like firstly, it's like a level 90 something, which was just like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. It had 70, I think it was like 77 fishing, so it could fish sharks. But this is at a time when we don't even know how to make money, man. We're just like, yeah. shark is a thousand gold. Oh my god, we are fucking minted. <laughs> and this is the best part, right? When he logged into the account, he was with me. We were at, with each other at the time. And um, the account had a whip on it. And I was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I was like, bear in mind, like, I literally had like a D mace at the time, maybe a DDS. Like, a whip was like huge, right? And I was like, okay, there's a fake whip that you get from a quest. I think it's like, like some mouse thing. And then there's the proper whip that looks like sausages. And I was like, if we can trade it, it's the proper whip. I didn't even know what I was looking at. So he trades it, and it pops up in trade. And I'm like, oh my god, it's the proper one. Take that off. And the account had these really awesome, badass-looking robes. <clears throat> but we couldn't trade them, right? And so, in the end, we were just like, well, we can't trade the robes over. We might as well go to Varok Multi, right? It was our rims. 
It was four fucking hour in. Holy shit. We went oh, straight no. to Tarok Multi because it was it was damaged and it was like, you know, when it says a hundred you can't trade it unless it's like being fixed. Bro, we got fucking smoked. <laughs> like we got like MSB'd out, you know? And like the kids that PK'd us must have been like, Oh my god, we just PK'd four hour in. We didn't even know we didn't even know what it was. I, I, oh. Oh. Man, it's so oh, cool, I can't bro. even pronounce it. What is it? <laughs> you know? And we didn't have a clue. We didn't know how to like it was just like we didn't know it's just like yeah. oh it must be I can't wear this this trash drop it you know it's all at the store <laughs> <laughs> no it's, but did you later sell it you know <laughs> no we lost it I lost oh, it when you PK got, oh my god yeah. you got PK after oh, oh my god yeah I think no, I, I made it part. I made it to like the um the southern side of the chaos altar you know where oh. the lava bit is and then like a team of MSBers just like mowed god me down damn dangerous MSBs yeah. but Those I remember were... when I was I was mm. PKing it was like there was like a swarm of people that were following me and i mm. you know and the thing is they were probably following me because they're like holy shit this guy's crazy he's in multi and four rms like you gotta understand this was a big deal back then oh absolutely that's yeah. a big deal back then that was... but i thought they were just following me because we were like a level 90. like that shit was high do you know what i mean like like we were like we were chads at the time but um yeah i also remember um i, I just had this other memory so do you, know, do you know people used to scam each other with like, oh, I'll gild your armor for you or like trim your armor and stuff like that? So this was like, again, back when I had absolutely no no game knowledge at all. I was like, I really like the way that golden rune armor looks. I was like, how, how do, I wonder how you get it. I looked on my mage spell and I read the low alchemy, what it says for low alchemy. And it says, it converts an item into gold. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, dumb. You're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 to be fair, I, I I think I had like a rune um kite shield at the time, and I also had an adamant kite shield. So to test it, oh, I did smart. it on the adamant smart. one first because yeah. I was like, this seems too good to be true. I was like, I don't understand how this works because like you know the rune kite shield with G is worth hundreds of K. And it's like, but to actually cast this spell doesn't cost anything at all. So how does this work out? And I, obviously, I found out the hard way. Like, but yeah. And I've just read it. <laughs> now. It still, dude. It still <laughs> says converts an item into gold. I literally read that like just literal. I was just like, okay, it just turns it gold. Like okay. instead of thinking gold is money, he meant turn turn items into <laughs> a gold. Yeah, that's that's color. literal. I, I'm I'm very oh literal. And it, dude, high alchemy. It says no, that's, that's item not literal. Into that's just gold. like. That's just what non is that? nonsense. The GG you know? trim. <laughs> <laughs> That's just nonsense, bro. What did I you almost scammed literally? myself. Well, I did. I scammed You're, myself yeah, and yeah, Kite, but... You outsmarted yeah. yourself. You tried I... to trim your own armor. <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> yeah, you did, literally. It, but, like, but, like, the metaphor is that he scammed himself instead, you know? Like, goddamn. That's crazy. I always thought people could trim armor back in the day. I was, um... Yeah, I mean, I, I believed it for a incredibly second. incredibly bad at RuneScape. I think my first month, I didn't know it was a Varrock. So I was just killing goblins, and I think I made my way into Alcarid. I was like, oh, I gotta get 10 gold as a first quest. Oh, oh dude, good. passing that gate was balling. I was like, damn, I can't believe I spent 10 GP, dude. Like, wow. You know, <laughs> like, I made it. So I never unlocked certain uh, things, you know? I was uh, like, maybe smithing. There's like a tier of gold trim, you know? So I'm like, do I just give this guy like a gold bar on my armor? And it just never worked out. But uh, I just never figured it out either. I was just so absolute. I was that guy main handing the granite mall pretty much everywhere i went because i'm like this is huge this <laughs> that's is huge. massive that is, that is such a minty thing I, bro that should be like your profile picture on everything it's just this your is character huge. of a g mall that yeah. was that yeah. would be me i'd be in castle or just just sitting here like i can't wait to dump this spec and then wait 10 minutes you know <laughs> <laughs> i did that i literally did that when i first got members too like the that's G all i did that was I just the g mall spec to zar kets and i ran away every time I was like, my oh my god, bro. this thing's like level 150. I'm like, oh my god, and, you know, ow, ow, ow. I was like, run away. And I, I remember, <laughs> like, yeah, but the thing is, it's, it's that, isn't it? It's like the being terrible at the game. I love it. The, but, but this is the thing, like, there is nothing, absolutely nothing that would have stopped me from playing RuneScape. The amount of times I got scammed for my entire bank <laughs> went from having, like, a mil cash back to zero in, like, a second... <laughs> And then there's just like this moment of just disbelief. Your heart sinks and you want to cry. And then I'm just like, well, I'm just going to have to go make it back. <laughs> and then you just yeah. like walk off no, somewhere. I, I know. I just took a break. Something. I just took like a half a year break and played a different game, dude. 
You know? Really? Oh, yeah. I, right. I, you got scammed? Dude, no, I mean, no, no, no. Not like when I was like a super noob, but like there were times when I wasn't really a noob, but like I had like, um, you know, like four guttons or something, and then I died to something dumb. You know, like I would like, you know, I told you the story about dying at God Wars, right? It was like a, um, a spiritual, uh, like warrior task, right? And I forgot which way was north to like Zami room. Oh, and man. I didn't have god protection, so I was I went down there, and then I started getting attacked, and I panicked. I was like, "Oh fuck, where which way is north?" And I didn't know, but but like by the time I figured out the direction, I died, and then like my gut was on the ground, you know. And then I, oh, I ran man. back for it, and I saw it on the ground. But there was this other dude that came down with me at the same fucking time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Same fucking time. You're, and, and, oh. and both of us had no run, right? Because your run's gone. So we're both like <laughs> slowly <laughs> top oh. towel, towel, just You know, like literally we were under each other the whole time. And I was like, fuck, which one do I click? I don't know which one was expensive, right? And then I fucking like, he got the helmet and, and like the, the spear or something. And I, and I like, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude. That's like you everything. asked for a piece back. I bet you no, asked. No, he him, did. He left, say? bro. He teleported, bro. He said, <laughs> I didn't even get his name. I had no time. And Best just, God Wars trip ever. I, know, I, I quit for like half a year, dude. I was like, uh, enough. This is painful to my heart, you know? Like, it was like, it was like, I don't know, man. I feel like I died that day, bro, you know? Like, like I died. Yeah. I needed. I needed time to re revive, bro. You know, like holy shit. It's it's this so the bad. worst when you like you watch it happen, but you can't. It's like it's like a I was, slow. I mean, I was like fast. Death, I know? was so fast. I've never played better in my entire life. You know, and but this guy somehow just was there. Like, yeah, man, it sucks. Shit. I remember. Um, yeah, remember Swiftkit IRC. Oh, you they, they hacked you. Like... Holy shit! I used that. No, time no, 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 no. Swift got IRC, it's like the old school room light, but like it didn't have yeah. any features. Yeah, I'm talking like, about the client, you know. right? Yeah, the shitty yeah, like yeah. clue scroll solver that they had, you put in the codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I used yeah. to use it for the um for like the chats that you could go into because I was oh. like, you know, heavily into like the PK side of clans at that time. So mm. everybody had an IRC, so you'd go in there and that was like the place that you chatted with the boys, you know, while you played the game. And um it was it was just notorious for crashing for no reason. And one time, speaking of God Wars, I went down God Wars, and this was back when you, you protected the item which alked for the highest. Um, yeah, that was right. The item that yeah. alked for the highest, right? So I went down there, and as soon as I clicked down, the client got the message of, like, crash. You can't click, you can't do anything. No. And um, I just slowly watched my character die in front of me. And I, I lost... <laughs> loads uh, like it, it was probably like five mil when five mil was like most of my bank and i just had to watch my character slowly die it was horrible damn yeah yeah it's tragic mm. but anyways yeah what about but anyways what about you, uh, mr kirby anyways, like what, what were your <laughs> tragic deaths yeah man Rice what were your tragic deaths i'm sure like you must have had some but, tragic uh, deaths anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This is like full story, bro. No, 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 that's tragic though. That Come is again. <laughs> I've never died to like a DC or a crash like that, so you know it doesn't hit me as hard. But um, yeah. See, me either. I I was key logged. That's that was my tragedy, dude. I would make like an account to level sixty five, and I wake up the next day and say password has been changed. I was like, I guess this is it. And then I'd make another account. And a couple months later, <laughs> yoink. Dude, you got rid of it, dude. Holy shit, you got Yo, rat. I did. One oh time, though, uh, it was the final account that I made. I was Obi Mahler. I always watch those, like, videos where they're hitting 42s. Like, I got to have one of those accounts. And they just brought PvP back so you could risk, right? And before right. you could risk, it would always auto-protect your plus one. So I would sit out there, kind of like level 49, full iron, mm. and I wouldn't eat. i just have auto retaliate on. I had a trackpad. This was my strategy. And I would just, some dark bower would hit me. I would simply let Jesus take the wheel. And hope he died. And every third time, they would risk it and die. And if I died, I lost full iron. I didn't care. And I would just be looting dark bows, dude. There's oh. no one protected item. That so <laughs> oh I got up God. to 60 mil cash. Holy I was pumped. Shit, I was crazy. pumped. I'm like, all right, time to start training mage. That's a mage story. A real PKer, dude. I go over to pest control. And I'm just sitting there. And I'm like, all right, I got to take a shower before the longest grind of my life. <laughs> Hit the shower. Come back. Cash is gone. <laughs> <laughs> You've been read it the whole time. You didn't scan your computer. <laughs> oh, oh I did. God. I did. I don't know what happened, honestly, dude. You didn't scan your uh, computer, dude. All I know is I got reset. 
you didn't oh. go you didn't go through enough of those like getting rid of virus montages in your life because i did enough of that and like i know i was eating paste as a kid bro i barely <laughs> made it to fucking veron i would literally, right? I, would I, literally didn't know about I would literally troubleshoot my friend's computers just so i can like get my vengeance we should have came over bro. The viruses it's it was so fun learning how to like destroy them you know like if if the anti fires didn't work, you had to like find the files and delete them and fuck them up that way. It was so it was like it's it's good it was good. Good for safe. Anyways, off topic. Yo. A anyways, Kirby, you gotta tell us your your most hilarious, you know, death stories at least at least you know to match. Uh, let me think. So I've definitely had some. I mean, maybe not so as much funny, but you know, whenever I want to like take a break from a game, I'll just risk everything in the wildy and just send it. So oh I'll you know, like focus on school. I'm like, it. Well, you know, it's like, I need to focus on school. Let's go to a wildy. Let's just risk it all. Uh, so you're just, such a wholesome next person. Next time you got to focus on something. Let me know that world so I can come protect you. you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Damn, I've had like go to school. Yeah. Because yeah. I have like these um like wow. 15 year old videos on my YouTube of me. <laughs> and one of them is me like losing full of the rocks like 15 years ago. Um, <laughs> Funny enough. Wow, that's crazy. You were loaded back then. What the hell? Yeah. You were pretty loaded. Like, like, like before old school. Like, uh, like, what kind of account did you get up to? Like, what, what was like your experience level like at that point? You know. I'm trying to think because uh, I definitely I remember making a bunch of money like to save up for stuff from like room crafting because like natures and like barns were like good money back then. I remember like back you know just because like of the prices. Yeah. What was like um, the peak of your account? You know, like pre old school. Uh, if I had to guess, like it, cause uh, you know, but can't I have now? Like I don't have my old account anymore. I I actually gave it away to my friend at one point because I wanted to <laughs> focus on school. school. Oh my god! School. And that account just gone now. Um, yeah. but I think it was probably like, you know, like I did. I remember I you know did the fight caves. I did like Nomads Requiem, whatever that quest was called. So oh. it was like at least fast strong. Cause I wow. quit before like Next and stuff came out. So I'm pretty sure I had some 99s, like 99 strength, 99 HP, but. I probably had like at least close to 2,000 total if I had to guess, maybe 1,900 or 2,000. I was like, in, you know. Yeah, you were seasoned back then too. Damn, yeah. bro. I mean, we also have more skills like summoning, so 1,900 or 2,000 total is probably not as much, but. Hey, still, that's pretty sick. Because um, it was only like two more skills, right? At yeah, true, time, true. So, yeah, that's... that's insane, bro. I didn't even know what farming was. I was like, still? 2,000 total <laughs> back then, bro. I mean, I'm just guessing. It's been it's been long because I just. I know I like, did like a decent amount uh, of skilling. But yeah, not wow. anything too much. I'm like I know like I, I beat my my total level very quickly in old school once old school came out. Yeah, but... it's it's crazy. Like when you're older, it's just the game just feels so trivial in a way. You know, like in yeah. terms of how easy it is to like progress and stuff. Yeah, I hope yeah. so though. We got way too many hours on this damn game. I know. We're still yeah. struggling. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. That's one of the things that I've really enjoyed that I really enjoy about fresh start and just starting a new account in general though is like. You end up going to places that you just never go to. Like, I'll give you an example, right? On my main account, when would I ever go to, like, Varrock, the Varrock Rune Store? Like, I literally, on my main, basically just do, like, endgame content. It would just be, like, raids or, like, some boss that's, like, high-end. So it's, like, when I make a new account and then I have to go to, like, these little obscure places, like, the Wizard's Tower, or, you know, just, like, literally the rune shop in Varrock and, like, these places that you just... I just don't go to anymore. And for me, that's why I love making new accounts. Like, for me, it's, like, a huge nostalgic thing. And it's just having that excuse to be in that area. Do you know what I mean? Like, I really, really, really enjoy that. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I wish I enjoyed. <laughs> i mean but like you keep i'm learning yourself... to you <laughs> if you didn't lock yourself to the woldy early on yeah. i think you might enjoy it <laughs> no, you, should, you know... should literally make it so you can do everything in the woldy like every skill everything from level one as well just one for day, me just for a minute one day i hope locking yourself in the wild is is most efficient one day, one day. right now yeah. no <laughs> no not really no. one day maybe one put day. a ge in there and you'll be fine yeah, yeah they have them in, in R3, you know? R3? I mean, R3 has a really. G in the wild? Yeah. Huh? yeah does it, it? it? does. Now it does. Yeah, now it does. I mean, they've got they've got the Ferox Enclave. They can build from that. And I mean, we can talk about Game Jam a little bit because they're talking about making a safe zone above mm. the 55 Wildy line. 
you know, with the expansion of the world. Well, yeah, there was like one particular boss that the artist wanted. We need to get her on eventually. To, you know, rattle her brain about that. Yeah, I'd I'd lo I'd love to have her on as yeah. well. Mobster yeah. fan. Yeah. But, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the fun one. Stefan. Stefan, kidding. we're streaming. No, it's, no, it's <laughs> Stefan. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're streaming. Official RuneScape channel. Uh, that's There's iconic. potential, though. They could, they could do that's that. Iconic. Like, they can they can expand the wildy in however, <laughs> which way they want, you know? Yeah. I just hope they make it so that <clears throat> every part of the wilderness deep past the Bridge of Fate has something going on. We don't need more open space. We just need more activities. I feel like in the wilderness we have right now, even without going past 55, you could just fill in these little gaps of inactivity or blank content. Or if it's far from a safe zone, maybe it should be worth going out and venturing. Well, I mean, you've seen what they've proposed, right? It's like multi did, yeah. revs and there's like a, a new red dragon boss and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, mate, honestly, like the updates for PvP, obviously we'll do a PvP podcast <laughs> at some point, but it's looking promising, especially... Like you gotta understand, with all, not just one, all of the all of the questions passed for the PvP poll for the rework on the PvP bosses, that passing is so huge. It like I, we can't like this is like a th th that day that it will pass should be going down in history as the day when the tide finally turns. The day that I'm getting way ahead of myself, prison. dude. I think every update after this is gonna get a no, but I don't know. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> it gives hope, man. It really does. Like, you gotta understand, man. PvPers out here are struggling. It's not even a case of like, oh, we don't know what we want to do, or it's a lack of, a lack of um, imagination. It's a case of the ideas that come through don't even pass the poll, <laughs> which means like it's a hopeless. You know, <laughs> the hope is back. I tell you, man, the wildy wave is happening, bro. All right, the the foundation is there. Updates are promising. Even before the updates, the foundation, right? We got single plus. I'm kind of digging it now. I'm not saying it's perfect. I am digging it though. Um, we got, I mean, a death. Like if you die in revs, you pay 100k. That's really cool to implement in other areas, right? So all these little things are stacked together. So when they finally do update the wild, and they are looking into, you know, uh, scouting, and, and you know, you got to go all the way through the content. You can't just switch worlds, or I think you switch worlds inside, but you can't just escape. Is making you do the content. I think they understand, right? When they implemented the Wilderness Chaos Altar, you don't really have to unnote the bones. You could just suicide, right? They want to focus on making you do the content they wanted you to, and then you get to enjoy the reward. Uh, I'm telling you, man, I, I, I believe the Wilderness is going to be a very fun place in the hopefully not too distant future. Yep. They got a lot. <laughs> like a lot every on. new mint video when that comes out. Yes. Dude, I just had I just had a really like a really f interesting idea for the Kale Salter and the Wildy. Imagine if they made it right. They did they did like something where it's like you can literally use noted bones on the altar, and as many as you want. It's an and you would just amount. keep going. But you, right? but you wouldn't do like, them all at once, right? That'd be, <laughs> that'd be but, wild. But, but, no, no, no. Yeah, exactly. So it's like the animation would keep yeah, going. Yeah. But this is the catch: hmm. if you log out before the animation finishes. Because obviously, like the meta for escaping at the Chaos Altar, if you've got any risk on you, is to just log out. Mm -hmm. You log out before the animation finishes, you don't get any XP. So, like, you could have buried, like, used a thousand bones on the altar, but because you've got 5,000 in your inventory, you log out, you lose that XP. They should just make it so you can only use noted bones, and it costs money per bone you use. <laughs> Maybe sick. I mean, they could. They could. I, was, but yeah. I was telling people like, why not put the wilderness altar in the middle of the, the wilderness boss layer coming out? So you got to go all the way through that shit <laughs> in order to bury your bones. Good luck surviving butt naked, fool. You're gonna no die. Bring some Thank food. You. Absolutely, I'm, no one would do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine think, with that. I don't need anyone to get thirsty. Broken as hell, dude. So yeah, it's super OP. Right. So I think the Can last thing that we have on this list, boys, <laughs> is um some anime. <laughs> Hell yeah! You guys dude. like anime? You know, uh, 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 look, I didn't even I'm think bad. I didn't even think of Kirby as an anime watcher until he was like, "Yeah, I'm watching Chainsaw Man." I'm like, "Yo, you're a seasonal watcher?" I'm like, "Okay, you are a His full." PFP he is Gintama, bro. What do you mean? Like, yeah, I know, but like, dude, like, there's people that are like, "Yeah, I've seen like one show, and then that's it." So I, I, I can't always assume, you know. 
But now I know. Like I'm, I'm, not, I'm not assuming. I know. I know. Intima, I know. yeah, they're they're pretty much just yeah, that's yeah. sweaty. Intima is kind of like the South Park, you know, of anime. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Man, the last I think the last anime I watched was um, I think it was the Vinland Saga. Yeah, you're not a one? seasonal watcher, but um, you've seen a good amount. You've seen a good amount of oh, bangers. Right. What 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 are you? What do you mean by seasonal watch? Okay, what let me explain to you, uh, peasants, what what a seasonal. It was so like there's four seasons. Yes. Too, there, there's four was like seasons. This. There's four seasons. Yes, right. Of uh, you know, you, where you live, usually there's four seasons. Right. You got the the spring, uh, the summer, the oh, I see. The, the winter. What's the other one? The fall. Or fall. Right. Thanks. Fall. Fall. Okay. So, so we, we call it autumn. All right. So yeah. basically, uh, so what a lot of like the animation studios do is that they like to kind of like slot their releases within intervals of seasons right so like basically um you know right now we have the fall season right right now fall season there's like 20 plus animes that came out right like probably more and a lot of them right now are like insanely good like like chainsaw man blue lock you know a bunch of sequels like to like super popular series like bleach you know my hero academia right things like that yeah. so so that's what seasonals are like so, I wait. Bleach them. has a sequel. It's the last oh, yeah. season. Yeah, the last season's out. Damn, yo, Kobe oh. said, "Oh yeah, like he knows it." So he's a seasonal watcher. See, that's what I mean. There's a difference, right? You're not Man's a seasonal a, watcher, but it's okay. Maybe one day closet. you will. Well, maybe one day you'll follow the path of a seasonal watcher. You know, I'll, I'll give you Dude, tips and tricks. You know, except I, I like to. The thing is with <laughs> anime is like I like to like just binge them all in one go. It's like yeah, someone yeah. to tell me a good anime, and I'll watch it all in like a few days. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I struggle, I struggle with like websites, dude, and even the paid services where you can pay mm -hmm. for like Crunchyroll and stuff. It's still not like quite there yet. It's just not. It's like yeah, it's not, it's not, you're right. You're animated. Right. There's yeah. You'd think that you'd pay for a service, right? And you'd have like English dub. You'd have every episode. Half the time, like most of the shit's missing. Yeah, well, it's see, like, it's where is it? there's more the to website. it. You know, there's there's more right. to it than that too, right? It's just that there's a lot of shows where they just don't have actual continuations. <laughs> they kind of like just dropped it, you know. Yo, so didn't they? Kinda, didn't they? Didn't they like remove that Hentai Heaven website? Hentai Heaven? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. Don't go there. You ever hear of that? <laughs> Hentai Dude, they Heaven always look. Here's the like deal, that. man. I've been I've I've known about it through multiple sites, and a lot of them do get shut down over over the years. So he's talking about hentai, bro. That's it, that's it, bro. But I'm sure a lot of hentai sites probably get removed too. You know, it's the same shit. You right? you know you know that's the case. We know, but yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. No, I'm just saying in general, right? Like those pirate hosting, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I, I still I I have access keep, to many, I can, <laughs> bro. I cannot keep up with the oh, amount of the websites being taken down. Also, here's the thing. You're fine. I, you're I don't fine. know why. I'm guessing. Listen, Kirby. I'm guessing you're an absolute goat, and you watch an English sub. I would assume. Yep. Because you're. Yeah, my boy. He, let's see that. He yes. Watch it. It's the real deal, bro. He said sub. I, I no, he said sub. sub. He said dub. No, he said no. sub. 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 He takes sub, bro. I, I, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Has he go back to your silk? <laughs> Dude, I don't. Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't know how you guys have the time to be doing stuff like reading. <laughs> How do you have I need to my nerdy, nerdy like, self I, don't, back I, I need, on here. like, the thing is with me, I'm always <laughs> doing something. So it's like, I like to listen to stuff. And I can't understand Japanese. So it's like, I have to have English. Oh, my stuff. Emotion, dude. It's like, what? <laughs> reading your Twitch chat. It's like reading your Twitch chat while you're doing something else. I know, right? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, it's not Rakes these streams once a month. It's, it's Bro, not the same. You'd miss, you would miss so much. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, dude. Dub is fine. Oh, nowadays, dubs are fine. Like those it's back not in the fine. day it's was not, terrible. It's, it's not fine. It's not fine because they never got it. They never oh. have English dub. Oh it's no, it's never there. Hey, if you need, I mean, if, wait, 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 if you need, right, if you need them dubs, bro. If you need them dubs, I got you, bro. I I have the resources, you know. I need them dubbed, man. Yeah, just give me a show I, you I, need. Yeah. I'll give you the dub ones, even though I'm not. I'm not sub. watching anything right now. Just give me shows. I need ah. stuff to watch. To be fair, how do you get into an anime when every dubbed? Voice character sounds like somebody with a cowboy hat, bro. Right? Like, how do you? <laughs> oh, Rick and my song. Like, what the fuck, dude? I, yeah, your grandma's dead. Like, you're, there's no emotion. Did you just pick this guy off the no. street to read a line? Dude, no, I mean, nowadays anime... it's not that bad. Nowadays, not. yeah, it's, it's not horrible. bad. The, yeah, the not first horrible. anime I ever watched was Attack on Titan, and the dub was good. The second <laughs> anime I watched that I really enjoyed was like, um, probably Berserk. The English dub for that's good as well. Like it's good. It's not. 
I've never actually heard a bad mm. English dub. Never. So most, I don't most. I, I don't know. I feel like I'm just watching good anime. Maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> believe I, I believe it. it. Believe I believe it. it, but I've not seen it. I've not heard it. Hmm. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. There, there. It's it's more of a, a lot of it's more of a, a a mythos than it is like a. No, they got six truth. English voice actors. They keep they, them in a basement they and they to. let them come up to <laughs> say some lines, they and they're to. all fucking trash. That's they what it to. is. They used to, bro. They used to. No, it's, they, like, it's like all the tiny women in animes have the same like etchy fucking female voice, like. Ooh, or whatever, I can't do it. It's maybe it's because you're so same sick of lady, it. bro. Maybe it's because you're sick of the English language, oh, bro. bro. That's that's rule number one of anime. If there's women in it, you don't watch it, mate. There's yeah, an even a female, <laughs> female character line. It's done. Oh my god. We're not the okay, protagonist. Okay, right, we're getting, we're getting. We, we need to bring this back to Mr. Kirby. So, what is your anime journey like? You know, what are some of your top hitters? It's always got to be a journey. Change right? your life. Always got to be a journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What were some shows that were like? Wow, this shit changed my life, you know, in a way. Oh, uh, or as close to that as possible. <laughs> if, like, man, if, if there's something. <laughs> I mean, you know, well, when I was younger, I feel like the first anime I saw was probably Dragon Ball Z. No, it was a Pokemon. Well, okay, we we all Pokemon. probably like our. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, let's not count Pokemon. Yeah. Do you Pokemon. like dragons? No, Pokemon is yeah. the only one that counts. What do you uh, mean? Pokemon, <laughs> Sailor Moon. Okay, okay, okay. But um. But yeah, um, I feel like the the first time I started watching in Japanese, though, like when I started to become like a real anime viewer. And you embrace and, the truth. You know, just yeah, watch a real that. one, right? See, you hear that? <laughs> yeah, man, real one. What do you mean? No, no, I respect, anime behind your Japanese I respect language. Rick C I for his you. viewing no. options. His viewing choices are good. All right, carry on, boss. I genuinely, yeah. this, is, this is the trouble with me. If I'm go no, real quick, sorry to interrupt, but like, listen, I, I feel the need to defend my English dub viewage. Here's the thing. If I'm going to watch something, I'm all about it, right? Uh, I don't really mess around with shit that I'm not interested in. So if I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch it, right? You see what I'm saying? I don't have time. I read it. <laughs> I, I can't miss a single word, okay? And if it's really good, I will spend the entire time watching it. I need it to be good, but I need it to be like audible, you know? Otherwise, it just doesn't work. Sorry. Yeah, no, I, no, I respect it. You know, fuck me. <laughs> okay, good. I don't man. respect it. I don't respect it one bit. You six silk stone having man over there. <laughs> Even though you're richer than me. Fresh. Sorry, go for it, Kirby. Uh, sure. I mean, uh, it's, I guess it's kind of random, but the first one I started watching in Japanese was like, I was watching Bleach in English and I got caught up. And I was like, well, my friend just convinced me. He was like, no, it's so good. You have to just keep watching in Japanese. It's so good. I'm like, I don't know. And I gave it a try. And then that was the beginning of me. <laughs> Being hooked onto the Japanese Yo, that's, stuff. Damn, that's throwback, dude. That's a throwback. Do you remember the subgroup called Data Bayo? Well, like oh, in, yeah, in right. Japanese, it's called Data Bayo, but like my yeah. my ass was too noob, so I I just read it in English. I was like, oh, it's the fan subgroup Data Bayo. Because they did like Naruto subs and like you know yeah. before like all the official ones, right? So so you would go yeah, I saw like a bunch. yeah yeah good stuff, man. He's OG. Yeah, we're yo OG oh, yeah. brother. Well, that's oh, the yeah. thing. I, I will watch like <laughs> if I'm if I'm watching an anime like I'm watching like Attack on Titan, right? I will mm. watch the new season in without even English subs. Like I've literally watched it without even subs, so I'm just <laughs> sat there, just <laughs> like I have no idea what's going oh, on. Why? Oh, why? Why? Because like, it. 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 the anime is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> sit there listening to so the good. sound effects. It's what the fuck, bro? Like, no, I will honestly, do that. I will about. because it, I love it. Like it's so good. That's the thing. And but you'll like, watch I, it again yeah. later, right? You'll watch it again later. I'll, when bro, it's I'll watch it three times. I'll watch it without subs. I'll watch it with subs, and then I'll watch it in dubbed. Maybe he's more of a fan than all of us combined. Yeah, yeah. And he's, oh, he's a man of passion. I, I respect I'm just, it. I'm just, I respect I'm a picky anime watcher. I don't. No, I, love I don't it. watch. I love it. I don't just See, assume it's good because it's anime. Yo, okay? I want people to enjoy shows. Uh, you know, especially anime the way they they need to. You know, so. I mean, more power to you, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Okay, Great bleach. Okay. Set, that's but great. Honestly. Kirby. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, hmm. I kind of got an anime the same way. I remember there was a. Uh, I had free TV back in the day, no cable. There was something called yeah. Four Kids. Oh, yeah. One Piece. One Piece would come oh. on, bro. Yeah, I, so I try to watch know. One Piece, and I'm <laughs> like, all right, all right. Ropes. Let me find this online somehow. So I went to like Anime Planet or something, some like OG website. Yeah. And they stopped making and I was like, yeah. what the hell is this? And I had, I just first time ever hearing Japanese. And my memory kind of goes blank. 
<laughs> now here I am. I don't know what the yeah. fuck happened, but dude, no, no, that that One Piece though was pretty criminal, even as a kid. I couldn't that lollipop. That intro. The lollipop. The Sanji lollipop. <laughs> It started oh out God, weird, yeah. didn't it? No, I just remember the opening dub. It was like they would keep saying Geico, Geico. I'm like, what is go what does that insurance company have to do with the show, man? Like, what do you, <laughs> what do you keep saying that? You know? Yeah, no. But I most I watched most of that like so. Okay, okay. So Bleach. What were, what were some other like you know, uh, kind of ones that that you were? What's your you favorite throughout? Top tier. Yeah, favorite. Basically. Well, like as you were uh, watching throughout the year, like what, like like, what were yeah. some no notable ones? You don't have to rank it; it's too hard. Ranking yeah. hurts, man. Ranking hurts. Uh, I mean, obviously, I got like hooked onto you know Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, the big three. Um, yeah, yeah, the big three. You no, know, yeah. yeah, I saw you know I saw Death Note on TV. It's funny, uh, when I started watching Death Note, like it was just like on you know TV, still English sub era. Um, it was on TV and like it's middle, like it was like probably like episode eleven or some sh something. I assume most of you have seen Death Note. Um, oh, best thing, yeah. best thing ever. For sure. And it's funny. Like, like the on Netflix. Your reputation no. point is skyrocketing, bro. With every word. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because like uh, I the episode I tuned in on like it was like episode eleven, some random episode. You know, just on TV, and it's like the one where Light Yagami, he's kind of really, you know, he's like pretending to not be the killer and all that, oh, and like he's re like I just when I tune in, he's like being all nice, like with like Al and like his dad, like. He's like, I don't know. Like, am I am I here? I don't know. Like, I'm like, from my perspective, I haven't seen the other episodes. I'm like, oh, I guess this guy's not uh, not the killer, but he they, he thinks he is. Like, I'm like on his side, thinking he's like not the killer. I'm like, <laughs> so like I got tricked oh by God. Light Yagami. That's so good. That's no, it, was, it was some really fucking good like animation misdirection. I gotta tell you, man, that's awesome. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Uh, but yes, that was funny. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there's that. Obviously, you know, I saw Niyasha. Oh. Um, just like you know, I saw like a lot of, just, like, of random ones. Um, and then like you know, obviously once I started to look up my own like, animes like on the internet and watch like English dubs and stuff, saw so, like you know Yu Yu Hakusho, that was a good one. Yeah, uh, what else did I see yet? Yeah, saw like a lot of random stuff. Um, the more recently mm -hmm. years, you know, I saw like some of the more shorter ones like Parasite. I've seen Parasite or oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, just like a bunch of stuff. Mm. Uh, what's ever one of like the he travels back in time when he can like uh, see like a butterfly? I forget what's called. Simpsons? Erased. Oh yeah, uh, erase. Uh -huh. Erase yeah. went deep. The that ending was kind of okay, but it was great. I love the start. Um, you watched Erase yet? Oh, it sounds the pretty. The start big, in the though. middle was sick. The start in the middle was sick. Like the start was like, super. Link good. it to it's me. Sentimental. All right, got you. Yeah, I, 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 I got you. Like I'll give you fun. dub too, bro. I got you, man. I'll give you Spanish. Actually, uh, I don't think Spanish I Spanish dubs. Let's go. Okay. I'll, I'll give you English. I'll give you English. So me and Rice went to TwitchCon, right? San Diego. We're in a B and B of Runescapers. Got Tasty there. Bodie's jumping around his little Vizanti jacket or whatever the fuck. Everyone's <laughs> having a good time, and Rice is just telling people what anime they need to watch, bro. And people oh, are yeah, dude, people were coming. They were like, he's a they were like, they're like, they're like, you gotta yes. watch Death Note. You should watch Berserker, <laughs> the old watch, one, though. I was like. <laughs> They come up, what should I want? You're writing shit down, bro. Someone's doing Inferno behind him. It was a fucking party. All right? Oh, God. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I was herding people into the, the anime crowd, you know? That sounds I, awesome. Tell us about TwitchCon, by the way, because we, we haven't done a podcast since then. How was it? How was it? You weren't there. I know, I'm sad. I'm not good enough, like, sadly. Dude, a, little, a lot of drinking and smoking. And some other stuff that I didn't. Not me in. though. I didn't partake. I don't in partake that. in drinking. I didn't partake in or smoking. And every time you two be ah, up, yes. there's always a picture of Rice Cup just like passed out. No, somewhere. no, that, that was the only time, and it was only for like a minute because, <laughs> bro, we ordered food, right? It took it took like 10, Rice. 15 minutes for their food to get only there, for but it minute. took me it Rice. took one minute or two to for my food to get there. So I just ate it real quick, and I was just chilling, like. And then I, I was nice to do this TwitchCon. <laughs> I could have had many pictures of you taking naps, all right? No, but, but that was, we only I was at the B&B, &B, dog. It was like 8 p.m. No, oh, oh, you'd like... be in the car just like this or looking for parking <laughs> and shit, bro. Oh, I see on. your ass. <laughs> I saw his ass at the party at the fucking Yo, thing. I had, like, three hours sleep, dude. I had, like, you get him too messed sleep. up, man. Yeah, no, I like three you hours of sleep. You hit him too hard with it, man. You gotta take it easy. Mm -hmm. nah, okay, no, anyways, anyways. I think Rice is built better than me because at the very end or last day, I'm shivering. We all have COVID. Right, sitting here like, yeah, maybe when I fly home from my nine hour flight, I'll go for a jog. And I'm just sitting here like, no, I'm fuck, wrong, are you dude. talking about a jog, dude? I'm about to die on the flight home. Really? I might go for a couple mile jog when I get home, maybe edit. Jesus Christ, Rice, dude. 
Yeah. Me and Carlos are just dying at the table. It's so cold no, outside. You guys should definitely come come next time. It's 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 such a great time. Yeah, sure. man, I I really really would have wanted to come. <laughs> I know you messaged me at one point about it, but it was um. San Diego has everything. So yeah, well, it wasn't that, mate. It was it was all to do with finances because oh, it was absolutely. literally after I spent a month in hospital. So yeah. I was like, I did, I barely had money to pay bills at the time. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't yeah, afford yeah. a and ticket. And you also traveled. Your other did some other your own yeah exactly well, so. so but yeah. i would love to genuine i genuinely would love mm. to go and if i were to, if i were to go i'd probably go to the one that you two go to mm. i'm not too fussed about like going to amsterdam unless you yeah no that's through that one but yeah we i um we did have like a anime night you know just catch up on the seasonals like i, show, I think i showed them like chains not, not every night it was just one night it was one night. it was like i, I think i showed every... them blue lock the the soccer one um, that's like yeah. it's like a battle royale soccer, so it's not like the typical sports. Do you watch sports anime Kirby much at all? Oh, uh, I will. I like big fan. Of, well, it's a shame we didn't get more animes, but Hajime no Ippo, if you've seen it, read uh, the manga for it. It's the one that I, I haven't seen, but I know a lot. I know a lot okay. of it. It's, like it? it's good. I just wish they have like it's they haven't made a new season since like 2014, which is a shame because yeah. I've read the manga, it's really good, but yeah, yeah it's like boxing. Yeah, yeah, They've yeah. Got my sport. friend loves it. Oh, them. actually, I've watched Baki, I guess that is. Oh, yeah, I've watched Baki too. Yeah, yeah like, Baki's one of the, like you know one of those like brain dead shows. It's that ridiculous. You love. That yeah, love. it's just one of those yeah. brain dead chat shows that you love. You just oh like... yeah, yeah. Dude, no, I um... feel like Rice Cup's taken like watching anime to like a whole different level. It's like your personality, man. I didn't even know they did like sport animes. Are you talking about like they football do. and stuff? Yeah, like, they yeah like like every you know, literal baseball, sport. football, soccer. Do they... Do they have um, like a fishing anime? Is that yeah. a thing? I'm sure they Weird. might. I don't. I'm sure there is, but I have not watched. There has to be, man. There has to be, because like the Jap uh, Japanese fish, surely they enjoy a bit of fishing. Oh yeah, yeah I, don't, I, want I just I don't know any. Like uh, some of my well... favorite, <laughs> some of my favorite sports anime is Haikyuu. Like for for many years, Haikyuu just dominated the sports anim anime genre. It's about volleyball, bro. I never play volleyball, <laughs> but like it's uh, it's very good. It's like a very. You say Haikyuu. What is Haikyuu? What is Haikyuu? That's just the name. It's like five seven five haiku. Yeah, hi, haiku, right? It's a musical not, not, note. Not, haiku, it? not 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 the haiku, not like the poetry, but but that's just the name of the anime. It's called haiku, right? But it's a volleyball okay. anime. But it's really good. You don't guess, bro. Really you kill a view. Um, yeah. Well, honestly, the latest sports anime is called Blue Lock. Super fucking good. Like, it's not even about like traditional like because usually a lot of sports anime their their setting is like. Your main character is going to a high school or something, you know, and they're joining the team and, and then they start, you know, um, rising the ranks, right? Go to like, um, you know, nationals or whatever. That's your typical sports anime. And it, and it works fine. Haikyuu takes that formula and masters it. But Bulag, it's like, fuck teammates. It's a survival of the fittest. I'm going to be the last one in this camp and I'm going to become the world's like best player, basically. Like, it's so good. Bulag's I'm not, so I'm good. not super and into the production sports is amazing. Yeah, the, but that soccer one you showed me is pretty good. And then Rice, oh, have yeah. you seen Survival? Um, Survival. The, I think it's a. Dude. It's called Dragon D. Have you seen that one yet? Mm -hmm. Dragon what? <laughs> Dragon D's nuts. nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I didn't know, bro? No, Yo, you fucking idiot, dude. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, 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 yeah. Ray, can you just link me loads of English dub? Anime? Yeah, what you want? I'm what probably... genre? Look, look. Let's I've... talk. What genre do you need? Let's okay, see. Let's, let's see if Kirby I, can right. follow up. I feel like he yeah, can because okay. he's seen Bleach. So, During the data bayo days, bro, it's crazy. I'm gonna I'm I'm name some animes that really <clears throat> touched me. Okay, so yeah. I loved Attack on Titan. That was amazing. Mm. Um, I love Berserk the original. Yes. Uh, I really enjoyed Devil May Cry. Uh, what's it called? Like, no, sorry, Devil Cry. Baby. Devil Cry. Baby. That's the one. <clears throat> yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, Vinland Saga was really good. Um, but I also like these are all like violent sure animes. Fuck. I love it. I love it. I love yeah. your your but, like limited list. Have you seen right. Parasite? <laughs> I've not, I've not, no, I've not seen Yeah, Paris you would like that. that. I'm sure you would. Hunter? Enjoy. Hunter x Hunter? Oh, shit. No, That's some ghost no. shit right what? there, bro. What? You haven't seen Hunter x Hunter, dude? Bro. I'll give you the oh. dub, alright? So, so, some stuff that I really got into. I'll give into. you the dub right now. So, <laughs> the first few seasons of uh, Sword Art Online, I really enjoyed. Um, okay. There's an anime called Overlord. I love that anime, but yeah, we just couldn't get it. I've been watching I, that too. It's yeah. Good. I really enjoyed that. Okay, but then I Dan also Kirby's have like real deal. He's a real deal. I, I like deep stuff as well. So like um there's an anime movie called A Silent Voice. That shit is so sad. Yeah, that Yo, was good. hey, hey, oh. the author of the Silent Voice made a made a story called To Your Eternity. First season's done, second season's like going on right now. You would love oh, that yeah. one. You would love that one. And what was that I watched an anime, I can't remember what it's called. I told you about it. It's like um 
children being raised as if they're like cows. Oh, is there really? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, it. Oh, do yeah, not yeah. watch that show, please. Just read the manga. Watch the first season. I've watched, the the, I've watched the first season, yeah. You oh, said the second this season's cool, so man. good, bro. I don't know why Rice don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you Wait, enjoy it, you slice serious? shows, if you enjoy slice shows, you, you, you maybe it's up your alley. <laughs> Slice <laughs> shows? Wait, is it animated really bad or something? No, no well, they skipped like, like 80% of the story and rushed it. They did a speed run, oh. like, you know, towards the end and they did some slice shows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, that, that anime was intense. I really yeah, the liked first it, season was beautifully uh, adapted, though. Like, it was, like, to a T, yeah. you know? But, um... Yeah. yeah, anyways. But, yeah, I think those are, like, my... The animes that I really got into. <laughs> also, what, I was re-watching one recently um, that I really liked, and I was waiting for the English dub to come out. It's probably out now. Uh, it's, it's about some dude that has, like, a green shield. The shield hero? I think it's the shield hero. <laughs> that yeah. shit is mid as fuck, but... You know, is it? No, is it you yeah, like it? It's Omega. I you like first... season one? I watched season the first season. Bad. Yeah, I thought, it's I thought right. it was decent. It was okay. I, it's just like okay. I could get into it. It was like something I could watch. It, 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 it's like some sort of online mid tier shit. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like let's just say, bro, you you have missed so many good shows that before you get into mid tier desperation anime watches, there you gotta watch <laughs> some. You gotta watch the better. Hunter ones. Hunter 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 first and save the good stuff for last. Yeah. Oh no! They'll never get there. There's, it's like, bro. It's like literally, you can't watch everything. I don't watch everything, you know. Like I, I have to like watch the good stuff because I, I have limited time, right? Like shit. Yeah. You need to, you need to link me the best stuff. No, I Kirby literally... said Hunter X Hunter. I'll back him up. Hunter X Hunter. I'll give you the. You watch it. Sometimes it takes me a while to get into stuff. So if you could like send me a few. That would be really nice. You want something short? Got... What's up? We want a fifty episode. Well, just... or you want a hundred? You want a I'll twenty? This way. What you want? You want a twenty? Probably... Pack? A drug dealer. You need two I'm... ounce. I'm one ounce. Probably you. gonna be max in this account right now, and it's level ninety right now. So I've probably got like I don't know, like a hundred to two hundred hours of just straight nightmare zone. Oh, Hunter. So I, I need a. I need a lot. I need a lot. All right, we'll give you Hunter Hunter, dude. Yo, Kirby, sell oh, this, sell this saying, show, bro. You, sell this you, show. No, 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 no. Because listen, it doesn't matter how much he sells it to me. I'm either gonna <laughs> like it or I'm not. So I'm just saying, hit me with a few. Hit me with a few because I get, I like to do okay, Hunter X Hunter different things. <laughs> we go with I mean, that one. I'm, I'm either gonna love it or I'm right, just gonna. Right, let you don't like right, Hunter X right, Hunter. You're on Hunter X Hunter. All right, okay. this shit is good. All right, There's no way, dude. This is Hunter X Hunter is one of the best, bro. That that's ever been made. All right. Okay, what else is there? Oh yeah. What what else do you oh, recommend? Kirby well, Go. What about One Punch Man? I think he's seen that. Oh, I've, yeah, I've seen One Punch Man. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. All right, keep going. I, keep I think going. I've watched the. First, there's two seasons of it, right? I've watched the second one's all right. Just the animation, you know, yeah. doesn't yeah. really. Uh, you know, it's not the same people that worked on it. How about Akame Gakyo? Never seen that. It's very violent. Um, it's all right. Plot's all right, but very the violent. Thing, the thing is, by the way, I know my list is a bit. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is a bit dark and violent, but it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't. Yeah, it does, it's it, okay. look, it's, it, it just needs to have a good story, man. Oh, like, okay. Story okay. Grips, right, Kirby, I love agree, story. Agree or disagree? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Agree. Agree. Agreed. Agreed. Okay, put that down. It's know, darker. It's, what, what, yes. hmm? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Is that what you just said? I'm not the person who should be writing this list, man, because I have no, no idea. I want what you to write it down so I can send it to you. You'll be like, oh, yeah, this was part of the list. Yeah, look at the Discord. Did I spell it right? It's okay. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I can read right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Full Mokado. No, Full Metal Alchemist. You really tried on that oh, one. No, 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 no. I've seen, I've seen Full Metal Alchemist. I've seen it. Brotherhood? Like, that's the thing. You've seen Brotherhood? Um, I think I, I saw the massive one. It was loads of episodes. Okay. And then I, I think I watched a few <laughs> other ones. Okay, okay, never mind. Um, okay, it was Psycho Pass. How about that? Anybody recommend I, it? I haven't even seen that one. Oh, Psycho Pass, Psycho Pass. Here. I don't think I've seen it. Dude, this, also, this shit is I, deep as fuck. You dude, like deep I'd stuff, like... right? Psycho Pass. First season. At least okay, watch the okay. first season. It's so good. I'll check it. I'll check that shit, it. Dude, that I shit like, will like blow Demon you Demon Slayer. Up. Demon Slayer was okay, though. I don't... I don't think I like it as much as everybody kind of like. All right. Okay, this up. one, this one, Monster. What do you think? I've heard of it. I've never seen it though. Um, it's I don't super think deep, philosophical, it. psychological crime thriller kind of show. It's old. No, it's good. It's good stuff, bro. Like literally, oh. the 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 dude literally, this this fucking surgeon gets framed for killing someone, and then he has to fucking run for his life, and then he has to find out who it was like that that actually killed like the. 
the the patient like because it one of the it was I, one i'm of like the, yeah, 50 yeah, 50 it's crazy that. it's crazy no it's really good though because it goes super fucking deep into like other shit and like i like yeah. i like i really like medieval stuff as well i will <laughs> yeah, say yeah. Yeah. really um, runescape streamer you like medieval stuff <laughs> uh, yeah Listen, of course leave like me in that stuff. era like as soon as you start bringing like law into it you kind of lose me a bit i'm like i'm not really that interested no no, no, no trust me monster is pretty damn good like you love dark themes like philosophical shit right like monster yeah. embodies that to a t it's it's okay. very well done it's so good it's not really, it's it the, the art is just old as who cares so. hey remake <laughs> that shit look bad bro like digimon berserker berserk what are you talking about yeah. okay okay i'll give you i'll give you one that that has at least one whole season all right it's called jobless reincarnation okay uh, uh, it's, just oh, yeah. it's medieval it's medieval true, it's got a lot true. Of, yeah you'll love that yeah, Kirby said, oh yeah, so done. Sealed. Yeah, my seal approval. What about, uh, have you seen JoJo? JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I'm, I mean, I've seen I'm it. I'm watching that. I'm I got a little bit I started re-watching that because um, Rice Cup said for me to give it a chance. Because after the first season, or after the first JoJo, should I say. Yeah, after the first like, JoJo, not... it gets really yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was well, the first JoJo is definitely a different vibe, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, first I really JoJo like was like... First JoJo, I, I struggled it. with the second part of it. But I, I'm slowly picking it up. I've also, yeah. this might be really bad to say, but I'm I think like slowly, slowly chipping away at Cowboy Bebop, which I'm pretty sure is like a phenomenal oh, anime. Oh, it's a great right? animation. Timeless animation. Really interesting yeah. story. Like, story characters. You know? I wouldn't say it has like a like an overlining plot, but like each character brings a lot of story, yeah. you know, to the show. That, yeah, that is like I, really... I can tell that like I really like the animation style and stuff. It looks yeah. good. It's yeah, definitely... no, I think you will absolutely love Jawless Reincarnation, though, because it, it really, like, goes so deep into the whole, like, medi medieval vibes. You know, if, if like I that. put it on and I don't like it, I'm just going to rewatch Attack on Titan for, like, the 10th time. <laughs> no, 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 you'll love Jawless. No, you will love, yeah, in Spanish. You'll love Jawless Reincarnation, though, because the <laughs> animation's fucking amazing. The character development is so, so good so far. Yeah. In, in the limited episodes that we have. Uh, and also the themes are fucking awesome it's it hits a lot of like controversial points that i think are important for you know that okay. are important that i'll often don't get talked about you know what i mean i, I will say that? like do you think uh, there's any animes out there that are better than berserk because like that is just I, well the, the you know there's just different types know. of animes you know right for berserk it's like berserk is kind of on its own category you know yeah it's just, it's just the best it, it's it just is. like oh, actually helsing ultimate you like you like kind of like the more old berserk. school stuff it's not like berserk yeah. necessarily it's but it's violent as hell and it's super badass helsing ultimate super badass. helsing ultimate okay okay well i expect to have an english dub link for all of yeah, these yeah, animations sure, sure. what do you think what do you think uh, any more recommendations from uh from Kirby and black you know, from... dark and the black is super cool yeah dark and the black is pretty good i love i love that when it came out Especially the first season it's like newer detective like kind of like crime thriller um superpowers kind of yo kirby if um yeah. if you had to choose and you have to choose <laughs> who would you make your anime waifu who would you <laughs> anime one well, anime, anime waifu. waifu yeah <laughs> who are we talking what the uh... fuck from attack on titan that's literally the only one i know you <laughs> built right oh. Let me think. i mean show murky Ooh. but I've never really thought too much about wife, but let me think. Yeah. I, I, he's an honorable oh, anime. Like, I'm, 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 honorable. Dude, I'm like you. Dude, dude, it can be a hubu, whatever you fancy, man. Hubu. Whatever you fancy. He's an honorable That's anime hubu. watcher. You don't think like that. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think we'll go with. Brains Long. What? I'm just going to go with. Uh... Oh my god. All these anime titties are just flashing through his mind right now. <laughs> which like which roundness is best? Which one? <laughs> which plot is best? As they say. We'll which go with, uh... I don't the know. The big we'll top three. The, from, the, the, from the big three. Top from the big three? Uh, yeah, easy. Now I'm, I'm, I'm narrowing it down for you. <laughs> you're, letting, okay, dude, well. you're letting my three waifus. That's very generous. Well, to choose from. Of the one. Okay, we'll go with, um... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna go with so we got Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. I'm gonna go with. No. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just give me, give me Frieza from Dragon Ball. I don't know. 
Yeah. Three is a D, ain't it? That's hot. Wait, from Dragon Ball? Who? Yeah, we'll go Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. Frieza? We'll take over the universe. No, no. <laughs> Frieza? Oh Wait, my how, do you spell, how do you spell this? I want to I look it up. Oh, I've not, I've no, not it's not a girl, dude. Fucking, you know, oh, what the hell? No, I've, I've like... never watched it. Never watched it. That's uh, an alien, dude. That's an alien, dude. Not a girl. <laughs> what the fuck? What are we talking about? Type it out. Are you want to fuck you two, pretty much. That's yeah, what you want to yeah, fuck. It's me too. Nah, I was trying to think of like a joke answer. I can't think of a good yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> you got Sakura. You got like, um, I don't know. What's that? Or he looks like Bleach, bro. You got like, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm just, all right, right. you know what's your wife? Though. Apparently, this man knows. So Dude, what, what, yo, what I mean, back in the day, I had like a big ass crush on Dark Magician Girl. Like, hell yeah, because I play oh, Yu-Gi-Oh yeah, yeah. too. I play Yu-Gi-Oh, so it was like, I was like, damn, you have a Dark Magician Girl? How much? You know, you can buy it. Rice, why do you keep Rice bringing is. your Yu-Gi-Oh cards into the bathroom? <laughs> what? No, <laughs> no, no. I have like a small crush on it. You know what I mean? It's time yeah. today. Uh, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like I don't, I don't, I don't really. I don't know. I find it cringe, right, to think about it. So I kind of like stopped there, right? I, ever since that point, I was like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I remember I remember going to Rice's house. And I used his bath, or, uh, you know, I, I took a shower. And I was like, why is there this um, plastic-coated Dark Magician card hanging down know. from the scrunchie? I don't even have what a Dark Magician girl. <laughs> kind of weird. Is it like a little... I don't have a Dark Magician girl, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have a card, dude. I, uh, like, my friend did, so it was sick. But, like, I didn't have one. I had one. Dark Magician girl, man. Dude. God. Bro, there was one episode where she got like, like her her like spirit became like a person in Yu-Gi-Oh GX or something. So then like they they were interacting with the characters. I was like, I was like, what the fuck? That's so cool. Like, I'd slam it. I was like, dude, that's so cool. I don't know. I was like, I was like, damn, that's cool as hell. Yo, Dark Magician Girl was was awesome, dude. Like it was cool because it was like a you know it's like a powerful Yu-Gi-Oh card too. So it should be a podcast just talking about her waifu yeah like the triumphance of anime watchers in the community kirby's like in there you know like he's definitely earned my my uh you know top tier animation anime we like here you know of people for sure because like <laughs> yeah, no, that. nobody that comes to the podcast is really that closely the only other person was fucking otis but he like his taste was definitely very different yeah i mean he, yeah. he'd be watching some different shit you know hello <laughs> kitty <laughs> Yeah. Well, what was he watching? I can't remember. Uh, I mean, you know, there's some cute girls involved, you know? Right? I mean, I think he watches yeah, yeah. standard stuff, too, but also, on top of that, he watches some more eye-opening stuff, you know? Okay, right, yeah. What's your wife, dude? What are we looking at? <clears throat> dude, I genuinely can't even think of a female anime then character. Then why did you ask us? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, why did you ask us, know. bro? What the hell? I was, kind of ho- I was kind of hoping that one of you was going to be like, Oh, it has to be this girl, and then I'd be like, "Okay, what's the anime called? Let me check it out." Oh no, that was dude, what I was dude, no for. you don't watch a show for the girl. Like that's usually definitely not it. What's wrong with watch a show for a girl? Then bro? You, you might as well just watch perverted animes. You know, you bro, I'm thinking of oh, I started watching an anime that was really good. Called I think it was called like Food Wars or something. Oh, uh, <laughs> are they all? Yeah, every yeah, time you, you like take a bite of chicken, they come. So you like yeah. compa- you know yeah. Food Wars is a sport anime. I might oh. pick that one back up. Food Wars is a sport anime, so so High Q you would like. Oh, yeah, you would like High Q way more. High Q is a way better sport anime than fucking. I mean, food to be Wars, fair, but... food is my love language. But it's so also a food love anime food. as well. It's also a food anime. You're probably you were probably like this yeah. super old anime called like love language boy. Like uh, like like oh fuck, it's like something Cooking Boy or something. It's called. Cooking <laughs> I don't know what cooking it's called. Boy. The, the name. Cooking Boy. Yeah, it was yeah, like a super think... old school like cooking battle show, I... show anime show. I don't think I have an anime wife. Dude. And it's, I like, think it's based it's so in China. You know, like, like... This, like oh my god, so funny. Yo, Rice Cup, real question. I want you to answer honestly. All right. Do you have any waifu body pillows? And no, this is a joke. Bro, no, I, it's a you can be honest with money. us, dude. It's fine. It's a face. It's a waste of money, bro. I would never buy that. Wait, which one's on the bed right now? None. It's camera. just a normal pillow, man. <laughs> Surely the Frieza pillow. one. It's Frieza. a normal pillow, mom. No, Frieza. Third form. <laughs> Third form. I used, that, I used to have a body pillow, golden dude. Frieza. I yeah, had a Mikasa. Fourth form. No, dude. yeah, yeah. Oh, she was dude. brushing your teeth, and your and her, and her things were kind of out. Um, oh, actually, if you watch Helsing Ultimate, there's this one one of the main characters. You'll like her. You'll like her a lot. Yeah, she's I fucking like badass. You. Let me show you. Let me show you her character. You're you're gonna be like, what the hell? Uh, it's definitely like an element that like. So for, here's the thing, right? 
Oh, I watch anime. I, I, I don't <laughs> like anime where they have the stereotypical anime voice for a female. Oh, no, like, she doesn't. I, She's fucking I'm not, badass. That's, that's not for me. Like, usually that's just like a cheap ploy to get that sort yeah, of like. Yeah, yeah. So this is her from, uh, the anime. from like the health movie, but she's like, badass as fuck, though. Story she's needs insane. to be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, dude. Hellsing Ultimate awesome is sick. And, like, like, dude, some of her fights are fucking insane, though. Like, look at this shit. It gets what? crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways, that's that's that. that's that an example. But Dude, I think we had this conversation. We did, once. we did. I can't remember what the did. answer was. Why is it that Japanese anime, like, over sexualize the cartoons and stuff? Because it's a conversation bro. with. Sells, I swear I had a conversation with somebody and they said something along the lines of, like, I don't know if this is true. Something to do with, like, um, there's like a dropping reproduction rate in japan i don't know i don't like think that. that's they, the main reason i think that's always been a thing you know even yeah before what, that like, was a thing. what is it well, what, why do they do this because it does come across as weird to like first time viewers of anime man like go and show like a I normal think person, it's not just like, sexual. Anime girl just i think like, i think anime you know animation in a way or just cartoons in a way is meant to over exaggerate elements of our life right and and like you know being horny is just a big part of life you know <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. He's not wrong. Right, That's like, why we're why here. Do all anime characters, even in a non-sexual show, look so attractive, right? Compared to a normal person, it's because we're over, over exaggerating certain parts that you know that like stands out more. I don't know. Like, why are characters that. tend to be smarter, or when they're more angry, they're like extra angry. They're like suicidal angry or like psychotic angry, right? It's like it's just that everything's yeah. exaggerated. So. Yeah, they, they yeah. always do that as well. They always make yeah, yeah. the chicks like crazy. But like those crazy yeah. kind of like crazy good, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Like crazy. Morally Like good. also like in Japan, it's a bit uh, mm. repressed, uh, like their sexuality or something. Oh, so I agree. I feel like I've heard that somewhere. So maybe, yeah, like... I, 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 I agree. Because like you have to yeah. be really modest okay. when you're out. Yeah. But when you're hiding, you know, you get to kind of like they have these and weird then, like... services. They have like hugging oh, services or something yeah, that's so, cool. so, so, so it's almost like this is like the um the animators or the anime drawers like imagination it, it's like because everything's so and also marketing yeah, like, right yeah, yeah. it's and like they go marketing. around they see a woman that's dressed like in just like a normal dress there's nothing sexual about it but their imaginations just go wild just like oh well yeah you could say some of the animators it's, 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 i think a lot of it's just marketing right because you know it people love that shit you know you, that's why there's a whole genre of like you know hentai yeah. and stuff right i'm that's, not saying yeah. it's a bad thing i'm just trying i'm just thinking dude the band I don't know, is man. There, last you know? time i think i was watching a lot of anime i just ended up like my jerk off percentage went up 100 like, <laughs> percent dude i don't know if i did that i did I guarantee if I got some data on that and put it into my C++ thing, I'm sure it'd, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear that. I agree, I agree, I agree, I yeah. agree. No, there's some shows that definitely get, get you a little bit, you know, up in different directions, you know? Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Directions. But most of the shows I watch is, is more about story. So, more that's about why story. I need, that's why I need another version. Berserk, dude. Mm -hmm. where, where dude you need to read it. I can't dude. believe you haven't read it. You, yo, what the hell are you doing? You gotta read it, man. I've, I've read a little bit of it, but then again, I just got busy, man. Okay. okay. There you go. You know what I mean? Is there an Anyways, audio version? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get the audio version? Uh, no, because the pictures is 90% of the story, dude. You know? Get the descri uh, descriptive audio. Should be good. <laughs> Scripted audio. Yeah. Describing <laughs> every panel. Like, so there's these trees on the left. <laughs> trees <laughs> on the right. <laughs> and, and he's walking on the ground and he's making a mush noise. It's like no. Like, to be fair, do I don't know. I feel like I've got like a really like a no, very matter. solid visual representation of Berserk just from the anime. So I probably could listen to the just nah, audio description, dude, and I could probably come yeah. up with it in my mind. You can't, I, I honestly you have think to I read could. The, you you would have to read the manga, dog. It's just too. Good. Yeah, but I mean, it's the same as like listening to an audio book on like anything that you've no, never. No, like, no, no. Because an audio book is is just the words being read, but you can't read pictures. Like you can't like. Listen to no, a but... picture. Only if you're high. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're like on the shrooms <laughs> or some shit, you know, like what the fuck. Like, like, like. Look, I'm gonna show you a panel of berserk, like the like so, a big. Oh, I know, big I know, I know. What you looks, can't describe I, I, it. Like, oh, I don't know why. For a second, I just thought the anime had like almost like a story, like is in like you know like lines on a page. But you're right, it doesn't. It's like interaction. Yeah. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. It's not like reading like the Lord of the Rings book where it's like. Sad. Yeah, because it Frodo. describes it to you in yeah. the book. Yeah, yeah but you're in right. Manga is different. Right. You have to like interpret it with your eyes. 
So, anyways, there's some good shows, man. Um, definitely some of my favorites, and it's been approved by Kirby a, a good amount of yep. them. So, but Psycho Pass for every anyone that hasn't seen it, the first season is phenomenal. Holy shit! I'm at the watch. It'll get you morally <laughs> so fucking conflicted, and at the same time, the story just hits hard, dude. It's super disturbing too, like in a good way, in a way that's like holy shit, like damn, bro, that's us in like 20 years, you know, kind of thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's I'm, crazy, dude. It's so fucking. And I'm gonna check it out, dude. It's I'm only like 26 episodes the first season, and if you're a big fan of this concept, they do try to like evolve it further in like later seasons. But like, it's almost different stories at that point, so I won't worry about it. The first season is like the gold, you know, the gold mine, for sure. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's kind of like I, a I death do, note. Yeah. It's, it's basically like a death note, except it's not using, you know, it's not a dude with a book that can kill people for justice. It's just like ambiguity of justice what is right and wrong and like you know people killing each other and bypassing kind of like i don't know the system it's crazy so good you know what? i just had this idea rice cap do you know what they should they should invent this would what? be probably a really really good idea they should make a new dating app that is like specifically for people that are massively into anime i'm sure and the reason is. i the reason i thought of that is because i'm just thinking man like the only way you're gonna find a girlfriend who can put up with your <laughs> elite right there. anime, <laughs> they, they 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 are gonna have to be as obsessed with you. It's like the equivalent Not of like really. a I, I couldn't fan. care less, honestly. A, you know, a couple much, from Lord, like a Lord of the Rings couple, and they can speak Elven to each other. Oh god, that's, I think that's kind of like that. cringy, but all right. <laughs> you need to find you need to find that. Uh, man. You need to find your anime. Cringy. Be all right there. okay kirby kirby has a girlfriend and he's he's like you know similar level weave you know what's your take on that is that true or not uh, i mean i kind of got her into anime so just, oh hell uh, yeah there you go you converted her just uh <laughs> that's all you gotta do you have to get a girlfriend and then show them some anime they like and get them just hooked as a play yeah what that's did you more, hook her more... with what was the what was the bait? um i think well of a I'm trying to think i actually got her and two of her sisters into anime Enough, so Ooh, oh, I showed the first I think the first one I showed was a uh, roots basket. I oh think. my yeah. god, oh, yo, yeah. that's clean, that's so smart. Deep. I i like fruit basket, I thought it was cool. yeah, yeah, I thought it was cool. Watch, they made the remake recently. What, I have to watch it that. Yeah, it's like it's like what a faithful it? adaptation of the manga. Yeah. I, haven't read it. I haven't watched it though. So, fruit oh, basket, okay. it, it's like about like um, hmm. there's like these people. Oh, it's, <laughs> I haven't watched this like 10 years, I'm gonna be worse. <laughs> I don't know, it's like uh. When she touches them, turn to animals. I don't know. It's, it's you have to see it. Yeah, it's like different zodiac animals or something. Yeah, yeah. It's about... Is it something I would enjoy, or is it kind of just like watch with girls? It's like romance. It's like romance. It's like uh, a okay. romance with a twist, right? Is that a good way to describe it? Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. Like it's not about saving the world or people are gonna die or something. You know? Yeah. Not, not like those. The, the stakes aren't like that. The stake is about love, I think, right? It's like love man, and, just, yeah. and, and love, like, relationships. Berserk, man, make him watch that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, if, if he showed her them that, they'd be like, I can't watch anime, bro. I'm done. I, no, to be fair, I think Berserk won't be as bad as like One Punch Man. I think if you showed your... your no, I think a lot of people love One Punch, One Punch man. man, though. People yeah, love I that know. stuff as like a oh. non-anime watcher. They're like, this shit's so funny yeah. or something, right? But it's, or, like, it's, it's, also, so it's also very childish. Right? Yeah, it's so and funny because they don't even quite... see, they don't, they don't see the animation quality. Like for me, I'm like I, I judge a lot on animation quality, but a lot of people will watch like shows not even looking at that. They're just like, oh, it's funny. I watch it because of that. You know, done. Some people some people are so simple. You know, I. I Cup, in your opinion, done. what is the most visually pleasing anime you've ever seen? Then, um, like of all, like in recent years, probably anything like, from Studio what, Ufo what Table. About? Definitely Demon Slayer, like the Fate, the Fate uh, series from from U basically UFO Table. They they go crazy with uh, with their animations. So that's okay. True. Um, I mean, outside of them, like uh, I, I, visually pleasing. I mean, like yeah, I think I think One Punch Man was definitely fucking up there for sure. One Punch Man is definitely up there. Like I usually I don't want to I don't want to like compare movies because I feel like movies always go super hard, right? Like when it comes to a show, cons I'm talking about consistent quality in a show. One Punch Man definitely had that, right? Like Demon Slayer definitely had that. Um, all of all of Fate from from UFO Table had that. I think Attack on Titan did pretty good too. For like for a show that has like 80 episodes, they like really kept that going for a long time. Yeah, you know. I, I think do you, know, um, do you know what I will say about Attack on Titan. So I think it looks good, but what I will say yeah. is in the in the last season they brought out 
It was a different felt, studio, by the way. It yeah, was, it was. It, it was my. Like, um, it was my studio Mappa because Wit dropped it after a while. So, yeah. The, there was there was a visual, a very clear visual difference. Between yeah, the, the CGI Titans. Titans yeah. That yeah. Versus the season before, like you know, the season where um, oh god, I watched it in so long. The Beast Titan has the fight with uh, the Ackerman, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Levi. What right. was his name? Levi. Levi. Levi? Yeah. Yeah, Levi. Sorry, I've not seen it. In like, yeah, no, for sure, it's different. I think Wits fights are better, but like, it's not like the the map bus fights were terrible. You know, it was like you could just it just felt different. Yeah. So yeah, right. what it was, it there's like some scenes in my mind that notably stand out, and I think one of them was like it it wasn't like the main focus of the shot, but yeah. it was a Titan moving, and it just looked very very dated and kind yeah, of janky yeah. yeah i didn't mind because i i love it anyways but it's like yeah. it was noticeable do you know what i mean yeah Whereas but I like, felt like, you, the, like but that was already after like 60 plus episodes but like the one the wit did like 60 plus episodes by themselves and like every single one of those episodes were fucking eye candy you know yeah, um, yeah, yeah, no. actually there was some was other shows good. too like you know mappa's <laughs> not a bad studio they did like jujitsu kaisen like the animation for jujitsu kaisen every episode has been like very good as well um, Jobless Mappa doing recently. Chainsaw Man? Chainsaw Man, yeah, they're doing Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man's like a movie. Every episode looks like a fucking yeah. movie, dude. <laughs> no joke. So they go, they go Bro. fucking hard when they want to, dude. Um, will, also, I, Jobless Reincarnation too was really good. Like all the animation I, for Jobless. I, I won, I've actually so watched so many animes, I just can't remember yeah. the name of them. I watched one a while back that was yeah. quite good, where it was like there was this dude in it that dude, had like a bear, a yeah. boar head. Oh, you mean Demon yeah, Slayer? Yeah, Demon Slayer. Yeah, Demon Slayer. Was that Demon Slayer? Yeah, that Demon Slayer. Yeah, 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 Demon Slayer. yeah, yeah. yeah Zenitsu. Oh my or god, something. that's the dude's name or something. Is, are there two seasons name. of that now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, that last, that first dude, the last two episodes of the last season, probably the most like beautifully like animated fight, like top five probably uh, ever I've ever seen, like in television, yeah, in it. television, bro, it, uh, in t an animation yeah. television. Not counting movies. I need movies. to rewatch it. I yeah. can't remember it at all. Yeah. I, I literally can't remember it. Because it was in Spanish, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He no subtitles on. watched it in Telemundo. Um. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of good stuff, man. There's, there's, yeah. Jobless Reincarnation is real. It was really fucking good too, because like they literally made, they formed a studio just to make that show. That's how you know shit's about to hit the fan, because like no, nobody does that, dude. You know what I mean, like these guys fucking said, we need to make a studio just for the show. That they're doing and that and that's what the, the studio's for that's a simple so i'll tell you i'll tell you something like that they do that all, all, all i really need to all, all i really know how to do in terms of like a software point of view is just editing but it's not i would not genuinely be interested in taking it to a point of like animation but animation in like you have to I do illustration like, like, though too yeah yeah that's the thing Two isn't things because i'm not a fan of like not that i'm not a fan but it's uh, fucking like hard, blend, blender animations like they look okay but i would say it's not my art style do you know what i mean whereas like yeah anime with the illustrations i think they look stunning so mm, yeah this There's, is interesting thing. yeah you gotta know how to actually illustrate nice and you also have to animate it that's like two crazy skills man couldn't it's you just yeah but Surely you could get somebody who does the illustrations, and then there's somebody that does the animations as well, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what people do all the time. But like sometimes, you know, obviously, you're, it, it's probably better if someone can do both, you know, or like can lead the other person, uh, uh animating it into better kind of like vision, right? Because like if that, you draw that, it, right, you you right, so think fun. about it, right? If you illustrate something, you also imagine how things move, right? So like yeah, yeah. if you understand that, you could tell someone how to move, you know animate it too or if just they know imagine, animate like, it, they can animate it exactly the way they want it right so, imagine the progression of yeah. that is like you start with like making like a stick man anime or it's just like some like a stick dude and you make him like yeah it's shit. crazy you it's know, so fascinating it. yeah it's so yeah. fascinating but like man that's that's so it's like the work that you have to do is fucking like you know like holy shit thank you you know thank you for your hard work because holy shit it makes my our youtube videos look like trash dude <laughs> so you know it's like <laughs> yeah but it's great yeah. it's great like i have my right. interview products yeah boys i say we wrap it up we've been going for how long have we been going uh, for let's now? see here we got about two hours and 30 minutes so it's it's pretty nice dude damn bro well yeah. listen kirby it's been a pleasure having you on man thank you for all of your hot takes on anime and um <laughs> yep. 
All of the speed running. Pretty respectable takes, to be fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if Rice Cup says that, I just go with. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, dude, where can the people find you? Where are you live? Where are you at? Uh, they can find me on twitch.tv slash mogokirby, as well as twitter.com slash mogokirby, and youtube.com slash mogokirby. And yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Wait. We will That's have great. you uh, link down below. So if anyone watching this, please check him out, man. Great, great combos, great streams. Yeah. Down below, boys. Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to turn off the podcast now. Bye. Just, yep. We back.